welcome back to a, another live stream with me and PC Player Milk. Yeah, welcome everybody. You've gone quiet. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, um, right on my side, Milk, my audio checks fine. So let's see what it's like on yours, shall we? Yeah, why not? Let's, uh, let's just see how it goes. Right. I'm running around. Do, do, do. Audio let's check. See. Audio check, audio check. It should be good. It looks like it's good. Yeah, it's fine on yours as well, mate. Hey. So, we are good, so let's crack on. So, we've only got um, Alan and Pugsley with us this hello. evening, and we've got Milk. So, hello, guys. Thanks for joining us, as always. Um, yeah. So far, we have Peter in the chat, I think, on both live streams, yeah. as always. So, I'll welcome Peter, as always. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. So, that's right all good. So... As always, remember to smash that like button, though, everybody. Smash so it. let's get some work cracked on with. Okay. Folks, let's get back to our farm. Let's head over the farm. Secret secret missions. Super secret, honestly. Who the hell do they think <laughs> they are? Where did I put my tractors? Oh, there they go. Right, so... Um, uh, so we need some money. So do you want to go pick the trailer up, Alan? I love I'm this. Fertilizer. What a great no, number plate yeah. on my tractor. Right. So they... Uh, the that that pulled out of the garage. The trailer no, is um, over right. at the grain mill. It's over at the VGA. We need to okay, we'll get, get uh, Let me find a weight. I think I must have a weight no somewhere. Problem. So I'm going to buy some fertilizer. Oh, wait. Where's all my weights? My... Have I got one on the Vulture? Oh, going to be... Let's buy four bags. We're going to need some anyway. No. Uh, can you so drop that weight off, Alan, please? That's... I think that's empty. Oh, no, it's 2,000... Oh, it's 2,000 litres of fertiliser in there. That's OK. Oh, well. I'll, I'll add to it and crack on. Right, thank you very much, sir. I'm going to have a quick look at what we've got in the... Right. ...contracts. Away you go. In fact, I will use this stuff first before I go to the shop. Well, I'm going to... Really? Field 18, field 10, field 6, field 2... Ooh, where are we going? So hopefully we should have some grass to cut soon. Get some more silage made into the BGA, because that'll be a good payday. I'm, I'm tempted to take the weeding contract and just set an AA worker on them, you know. I mean, why not? It's not a bad idea, actually. They're that's not very profitable contracts, though. Well, it's two for... What's these? 1,000, 2,000, 4, 5. It's 6 grand there. Okay. Wow. Okay, so it's 6 grand and weeding on field 18. Uh, big tractor, big weeder, 525 quid. For. Oh. <laughs> like burying the items. I'm going to do that and just going to set them off. Not I bad. think. I might as well. Yeah, I'll do that. Are you subcontracting a contract? No, 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 I'm not subcontracting a contract at all. I'm just going to set all the weeding contracts going. Yeah. No, a, it's um, not a bad idea. There's not many of us, so I guess AI what is... Uh, sure. Um, okay. okay. This game is so broken. Why is that? Right, just come to the shop and look what, what it's given me for a weeding contract. What the hell? <laughs> oh, we've got a Jill wheeled up. Fence 716 for weeding. I don't think we're going to get much crop destruction at all, am I? Well, what there's, the? there's not much ground pressure, is there? <laughs> that's true, but look, it's a bit, that's a bit over the top. That's for 500 quid as well. Wow. Here, yeah, Pugsy, that's, that's that what you want to do. You don't get one of them for 500 quid for your... Running your seed. If only. That'd be about 300 grand, though, Fen. Sure. Well, I have got a few more people watching now, so hopefully everybody is uh, joining us and looking forward to another fun live stream with um, this complete not a... Well... Don't really know what to call this bat um, bunch of workers we have every week. That oh, includes me and Mel. Shocking. Lovable, lovable rogues. Lovable, lovable rogues. There you go. That's see. Us. Um, so, 
GM. Yes. I may need to consult you on some precision farming related things. Um, I'm yes. not really, I'm not really using a great deal of fur on here at the moment, and the uh, expected yield isn't really increasing. So. Okay. Well, if you let me just have a quick look then. Is so where, some... where have you fed to your eyes? Let's have a quick look at what the... are these? Uh, I started on the right. Let's have a look at his contract then. Uh, what and I'm going there? round the headlands. Okay, let's me, let me run across and have a quick look. We've got that. Oh, <laughs> we've got Sublute. that. So let's borrow that one. Okay, so that's not gone up there. So and then let's accept that. I'm one. running. I'm running. I'm getting there. I am honest. I've got exactly the same as you in terms of uh, weeder. Oh, I know why. Right, just pop out the tractor a minute. I need to change something. Yep. What? Well, that should work. Okay. Yeah, it was set to oh. auto. No, 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 no. Go back and do it again all over again. So, a bug with uh, farming simulator precision farming. Sometimes when you go in the field and you have automatic, you have to turn it off, off automatic and put it oh, back on automatic, and then the PDA will change. <laughs> it's okay. a very annoying problem, but good spot. Well, at least I didn't do the whole field like that. Let's. Indeed. Uh, I thought Rain Man was talking to me there. Just get out and do that. But there you go. Just get out and do it, Mal. <laughs> yeah. So 34, 47, 34. Thank you, GM. Is... No this problem. One. That was a live GM Explains. And what was the other contract? 47. Field 47. Where the hell is Field 47? Uh, there's 45. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, that's easy enough. Sorry, I'm currently spamming discords. Yeah, I've done that. Well, I've done two. Uh, 15 so far. Shift, you have 15 discords. Wow. Yeah? I'm on one occasionally. Right, so 34. How are you getting on, Alan? Have you found the trail yet? Yeah, we're all the way up to the greenhouse. Oh, right, okay. Unfortunately, this evening we don't have a red dog as normal, which is a bit of a shame. There we go. Right, let's start with field two, and then I need to see what we need to do. Because once we've got these sorted, I will okay, then probably so start looking at do doing some grassland work, work, I think. So, is everybody looking forward to Forklift Simulator 22 at the end of the month? No. Oh, yeah, no. Are you sure? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. That's why I've definitely done a video on it. Not. Yes. I thought it was a pretty good name that Klaus gave it the other night, though. Forklift Simulator 22. <laughs> because we're the okay thing is, with the physics on that. Uh, uh, do you talk to Malk about uh, what happened on uh, Friday when we were recording the latest Corpy episode? Oh. There was lots of very, very blue language going on. Yeah, there's, there's quite a big jump cut on that uh, job. <laughs> That's why your video is like half the uh, length of mine, isn't it? Well, it's uh, about five minutes shorter, I think, isn't it? Uh, that's Brilliant. Good. Oh, I might have got myself in a bit of a tizz was here. He is Alan. Yeah. Quite What's narrow. Working, is it? your spreader isn't damn it? it oh dear oh well we could be having some problems in a minute you're just going to reverse it in sort of in line with me now just go back a bit up next one this way. sort of reverse it in front of me so i can just load these pallets straight on right six Eesh. right okay Perfect. Should have probably Perfect. thought about that. Oh well, but it looks like some of the contracts need a hoe rather than a weeder. Good, good. 
Oh, that old chestnut. Yes. Even so, even though it supplies you with equipment, it actually. Yeah. Let so you do it. that could be comical. I might have to cancel those something. and then think about it another way. Oh well. <coughs> Whoopsie daisy calls. Could be worse. So once we get rid of these, we'll um, we'll get some fertilizer. And we'll pick up a fertilising contract. How's the fertilizing going now, Pugsley? It's going. It's it's working now. I was just saying your uh, your spreader has a fairly narrow width, doesn't it? Yeah, it's 18 metre, but it was cheap. It's not a very wide spread. No, but it's a big Ooh. capacity. That is true. So, it, it's, it's an interesting trade-off, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it's a bit like, well, what do you want for liming capacity and width? But they're a lot of money. The Amazonia I'd like is got like eighty grand. I'll tell you what does work well with uh, good, good uh, capacity and good working width is the Breedle. I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's by far the best best breeder out there. It's yeah. chuffing not. It looks awful. I don't know what you've got against it. I just don't like it, I never have done. No, I just don't like it. Right. Uh... Not you. <laughs> right, this one needs a weeder. Go. Get this weeded. Oh, come on. Let me just pick up one. Let me just pick up one. There we go. Without pushing... Oh, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Loaders, oh, loading's got right. worse. They're, they're loaded. I've I'm never known sure the know loaders do that. Days. They just keep, so, just yeah, keeps I really going. Don't think you know what you're doing. I think it's your server. Nothing wrong with my server, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, right, so we're nearly there now. Um, do you think the... Uh, Physics are going to be improved at all for Pallet Simulator? No, no, no. Oh, which you know when you well, actually when you actually think though that um, when they did Silver Run, what was that one? Platinum, and they yeah. sorted out the whole log physics, didn't they, for that for that release, that DLC? Did yeah. they? Yeah, they totally sorted out log physics, and they made log handling so much better. So you would well, think. Did they okay. do? Yeah, they did. Yeah, so yeah, it was. Uh, it was thanks, all. Alan. It was oh, all. I was going to say the same thing. Did they? Yeah, I, it, I did lose it. Changed, but yeah, what they what they did was they changed the collision around they the made logs. Made it worse? No, they made it much better. Are you sure? Yes, I am absolutely no, no, positive. I'm not loaded. So basically, the log physics, uh, sort of the collisions around Are the logs, going? got reduced so that you could basically stack a log on top of a log. And that made them sit oh, in trailers okay. and things like that. And they just worked so much better. Well, obviously, pallets don't have yeah, that issue. Pallets, pallets just don't have any friction. So. Oh, you've got the Johnny Pop, haven't you, Bugsy? I Darn have it. indeed. Would you like to swap? It's not a problem if you want to. Yeah, do you mind? Because I'm going to load up some pallets on this trailer of flour, I think, to get them out of the way. Yeah, sure. Uh, Thank you. I'll I'll nearly knocked that over. And nearly, I'll give it a good go. I need to have a look at thingies as well, actually. Do you so, know where we're taking these, Alan? <laughs> uh, no, actually. Just, just all of that. Uh, can you make me a uh, farm manager too? Because otherwise I can't sell things. Oh, okay. Actually, yeah, I need to yeah. do that for you, oh. Bugsy, don't I? Farm manager. Do you want to put the straps on that trailer? Yeah. Uh, farm manager. Pops are ready for you. Right, so all of them need a weeder, apparently, but apparently they don't. What absolute load of rubbish. Um, right, just got these ones to do now. Should be warmed up for you, GM. Thank you very much, sir. Massively appreciated as always. Lovely job. I'm actually going to have a quick run around the fields quickly to have a quick look at which ones I can do with a weeder and which ones can't. I haven't even looked at it. Oh, no, my, co my contract is two. working. I'm at 24%, so that one must have, I must have got lucky with that one. I need to have a look at my grass as well because it might need cutting. I mean, if we're to the point of. Oh, we need to restart the time, actually. 
Yeah, remember when Alan reminded you. There you go. Yeah. I know, but we were kind of off off well, live stream at that point, weren't we? Were. we? So. we were. Right, we're away. So, how is everybody else in the uh, the viewers think about the new Farming Simulator 22 DLC, not DLC, paid for mod by a modding house? Really annoyed me, that has. How much is it? Like well, eight, nine quid, but if, yeah, I just, I personally don't think some of the deer, Dutch modding inks mods are that good sometimes. Some of the buildings right, are scaled the, really get the badly. Straps on and uh, let's have a look. Where's the. It's going to Entropot, which is over by the shop. What, um, yeah. what are you selling, Mal? Tomatoes. Ooh. Tomatoes? Do you know if that new DLC is included in the uh, yearly pass? No, it's not. No, it's it's not, a separate no. one, like pumps and hoses, and that, it is um, same as Creative Mesh's bail one, but not. But it's not free. When does the second year back. season pass run out? Or has it? It's already run out, hasn't it? Because there's no more. I don't think there's going to be any more DLCs. But it'll be part of it. Right. I mean, that's, Apparently, that's when good I was news. Speaking, yeah, I mean, when I was speaking to Klaus the other night on Discord, he was saying that this is exactly what they did with FS17. The year that they released a new game, they didn't do another year pass, and they did release some um, other um, mods or mod packs right. that you had to pay for. Yeah. So it kind of seems like they're following the same oh, way of working. Remember. Actually, I don't know why I'm doing this. Might as well jump into the into that tractor. Right. Um, so once you've sold those, I'll go and get, get the fertilizer spreader. Um, and we'll I get a fertilising job going off. Okay. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Right, spin around. Which one then is it? Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Weeder. Okay, so that one needs weeding. Okay, so that one, that one, so I can set the AI on it one in a minute. That's good. I need one more to do. Uh, 18, where's 18? Oh, it's up there. That's fine. I need to go back up there anyway, so I we shall go up there. Not too bad. How is uh, how is everything going on your... Are you still doing your Through the Years on Fen Edge, Pugsley? Um, I decided that Through the Years on Fen Edge would be insane. <laughs> and um, I wanted to use Red Dog's uh, uh, Choose Your Own Farm. Oh, yes, uh, yes. So I went away from Through the Years, although I do still have the Through the Years game saved, so I will revisit it, I'm sure. Oh, sounds good, sounds good. But Not bad at all. 4X four, four map with no productions um, through the years I just thought that might be a bit too ambitious yes fair point mate fair point this is ready to harvest but tonight so six or seven for the wheat two more months there's some wheat in there me, who weeded that field? Wasn't an AI worker, that's for sure. Terrible. Right. Uh, ooh. Come on. I think we'll be skipping through this uh, episode anyway, won't we? You think? Or this. Yeah, I think so. I think we're going to run out of jobs. <laughs> True. I don't know, there's quite a few contracts to take on. He's on. It's for you, not for me. I've taken on all the weeding I can. Uh, well, I've only got one or two FERT contracts. Well, if you get those done, then we'll just do a reset on it, maybe. That we can do, or we can do the whole. Um, just move on a month if you wanted to. Yeah, it's yeah, no I'm, biggie. No, it isn't. No. Right, so we've just made three thousand, have we? 
No, we must have made more than that. No. 10,000. That was the second mm -hmm. load. It missed the load off the back of the trailer. We did. about. Nice. Ooh, well, we had we had under two thousand, so we must have made over ten grand on that one. About ten, yeah. Yeah. So. Pretty good, really. Uh, but that'll get us a few bags of fertilizer, and we can knock out start knocking out some fertilizing contracts. So that'll hey. give us more money. That was a good fertilizing contract. I do. Who doesn't love a good fertilizing contract? Fair point, fair point. We've got some flour to take to the bakery if I grab the... Uh, yeah, flour. but the price isn't exactly that great. So I might as well leave. We oh, flour to, oh, to go to the bakery, sorry. Um, yeah, uh, I'll take... Um, yeah, go on then, if you if you want to take it over there. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I'm, just, I'm just thinking though, the, bakery, the bakery's got 80... That. Uh, that's back at the farm. The bakery's got 18,000 right. litres in it. And just thinking, we're in year two. To do a weeding contract. Mm, I don't know if it'll process it all. That's the only issue in time. Well, if we think the series is going to go on and we're actually enjoying it and it's doing well, we can always extend it. Yeah, and I mean, once I start, if we want to, once to. I start doing my but silage, it's not like I won't have a load of money anyway. So. Or fighting to up for milk. Yeah. I don't know if I. No, I've got a loan. Have you got a loan, Malk, on this? Nope. No, neither have I. We've actually got away with that, haven't we, so far? Well, I don't think I have. Um, where's the fighting out section? It's because your farm hands know. have been far too much money. The farm hands have been doing a fracking job, haven't they? They have, yeah. Um. Oi, would you. Way up. <laughs> Oh, he's weaving, bobbing and weaving. <laughs> oh dear, do you need more fertiliser? I do. I was going to ask, what side of the road are we driving on on this map? Uh, not got a clue, because there's no traffic on here, on purpose. I mean, we're in British currency, so we've got to drive on the, the proper side of the road. Yes. Left-hand side, then. I, no, you're right-hand side, I, then, yeah. Drive on no. the right side of the road, which is the left side. Is this your fertiliser? <laughs> yeah, Yes. Okay. There should be four bags down there for Pugsy to use. Right, okay, there is. I'm going to be doing some weeding, I think. Uh, how much can I afford? I can afford four bags as well. There's still a bag of fertiliser in the water. Whose is that? The mine, but do dropped in there the other about six or seven episodes ago. Or... You've got this thing in the water, haven't you, on these maps? It wasn't me. That was not. That's yeah. not me. That was. That was a dude doing that. <laughs> uh, right. So contracts for fertilising. What have I got? Field twenty-seven. Yeah, that's mine, isn't it? Field yeah, twenty-seven. 20, field twenty. It stops with twenty-five in it on my side. Yeah. Race on, Pugsley. <laughs> Race on. Oh. oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Right, the last time I saw Pugsy do any kind of racing in a tractor, it ended very, very badly. Ah, uh, fuck your eyes, brain man. <laughs> Don't you talk about that many, many years ago. <laughs> Absolutely fine. Uh, it worked that fine in the end, didn't it? I think. Very angry farmer that day, I think. Uh, it was fine. He loved it. I think. That, that trickle that, charger never worked the same way again. That what? That trickle charger never worked the same way again. Was Which it the trickle, trickle charger? charger? Was it the trickle charger he, worked, he ran over? That was all of us, that I thought that was. Oh, what was the fuck your eyes one for then? Is the wrong seed? What, wrong plant? <laughs> yes, that's the, the wrong track plant. He didn't tell me, did he? No. First day on the job, didn't even right. tell me there was different varieties that he was putting in. Jeez. Yeah. That was supposed to say. Oh, the trickle charge. Yeah, yeah, well, well, well. That was all the whole while. That was all the whole while. Well, no, it was his fault, but we all got the blame for it. 
<laughs> yeah, but obviously we've we got the blame for it. We didn't warn him that there was a trigger charger behind the tractor that he decided to jump in and move. And crashed into his own crashed into his own battery charger. Yeah, I don't, I don't really, I have thought about that. You know, Jesus. He wasn't very happy that day, was he? He wasn't. I don't know why. <laughs> you weren't there when he got the Kelly rig up to his axles in mud. <laughs> Just kept buggering. Ryan, Ryan, I think it's a bit wet. Why? Well, as we keep adding um, collie sacks to the back of this um, thingy, we're, uh, we've gone past the wheels in the trenches. We're sinking. Then we sheared the dry spline on the hydraulic system after that. Oh yeah. The same I've had day, I think. day. It won't he won't very happy. We have to go all the way to God. We have to go all the way to the other side of Norfolk to pick it up from the Zeta division. There's a Zeta dealer or there was a Zeta dealership in Spalding. back then they didn't have the part in I don't think I don't really know why we ran these on that fat farm apart from they were incredibly cheap the only reason anybody runs them isn't it they took a kick in there didn't they yes um, I don't know am I going to make this contract uh, well maybe I am what well, well, this, well. this fertiliser contract I've kind of it's not that big of a field, and I'm only at 10%, and I've done like a quarter of it. Uh, like, I've done like two edges, oh dear. two headlands. <laughs> uh, maybe. maybe well, I think I've got a few more people watching the live stream now, so well, welcome if you are new to the live stream. Uh, remember to smash that like button, and also drop into the chat and say hey. So we're all more than happy to uh, have a chat while we're gaming and answer any questions or anything like that. So hopefully everyone is doing well this Saturday evening. We're back on the competition map. So we haven't got that many helpers this week. We've only got a few. We've only got Alan and Pugsley, but yeah. uh, Where is everyone? top quality about, helpers as always. It's all about the quality, not the quantity. Exactly. Alan always turns up. He's a good lad. Top farmer. He's in... He's even cracked on and got uh, got buggered into uh, Fen Edge, yeah. What are you going with that one? <laughs> I'm just saying he's, he's dropped on to Fen Edge and done a good job. He is. Easy there, Tig Tig. Cracking map that. It really is. It is indeed. So, if anybody's um, didn't know, Fen Edge is available now to download off HIO. Feel free to download it. I shall put the link to the download in the chat. So if anybody has not actually downloaded it yet or played it, please do. Got a little of hotkey set up for chat. Just a, a shout out for Red Dog here, but on Fen Edge, um, you know, it's. It is possible to download for free through Itch.io, isn't it? But um, considering the amount of the thousands of hours that he's worked on it. For I, three years. Uh, yeah, years and years and years. Um, I just think, uh, you know, remember to support the, uh, support the modders. That's all I'm going to say. Well, it's all been kicking off this Friday, hasn't it? on Mod Hub with MA7 Studios. Oh, what's going on there? With Polygny. So Polygny's been pulled from Mod Hub because apparently they used a wall from another modder and they couldn't come to an arrangement on um, either credit or reference for it. So he's kicked off at Giants and Giants have kicked off at MA7 so they've pulled it from Mod Hub and said they'll do a version 1.1 1 .1 and they'll do their own wall um, and they're a bit miffed because they've put since FS, I think they've been modding since like FS17 and they've put up hundreds and hundreds of models 
and walls mm. and stuff that people can use freely without any credit. Right. And most maps have them in. And right. And they've gone, you know what? If that's what you're going to do, I'm gonna, we're going to pull our mods. Uh oh. Something is going on with my fertilizing contract. Um, I'm fertilizing the ground and it's not all being fertilized. Right. Have you turned on. Have you deactivated uh, automatic mode and then reactivated it again? No. You need to do that and it might work. The, uh, the variable width can cause problems as well. You have to reset the variable width, otherwise it doesn't take the full width. Right, well, it was like, it was on the full width, but it was leaving, like, stripes, so I've kind of changed Yeah, I've, I've had that. If you change the, bit, the width back to minimum, back out to full width, right. it should work. Okay. Uh, well, it, seems to, be, it like. seems to be working all right now, so... Um, it'll be the... I've just got to fill in the... It'll be that thingy again, won't it? I've just got to fill in the little it'll patches. So... Yeah, it's a bit annoying that really, but uh, we see at least I can see where I've missed and where I need to go back. Yeah, we're nearly there now. Good, good, so good, good. Well, that's that done. Although it does seem to keep moving. Like, I get a dark patch, and when I come closer to it, it becomes a light patch. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah okay. It'll be alright. I'll get it done. I'll manage. It's broken, aren't you? You've broken it. Yeah. It is. Like, right now, these... Yeah, these bits just keep disappearing from me. How are you getting on the... Fertilising on our big field, Pugsy. Ah, she's going all right. Have you um, have you started watching Fallout yet on Prime, Pugsy or not? Oh, I watched the first episodes. Uh... I'd re I recommend it. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's very very quirky, very very weird, but it's a really good adaptation from the video game. Definitely. Is. All I would say, all I would say is, episode one. I condone the use of the dining table. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. Other one, sorry. Sean Malk said that as well. What was the that? use of the dining table on episode one? Is <laughs> yes, yeah. legendary. I agree. Yeah, it was. Uh... Yeah, it was interesting. Yes. One word for it. One thing I would say, this is mainly aimed at pubs because he's got two kids. Uh, Kung Fu Panda 4, not great. Oh, really? Yeah, quite, quite, quite. Um, Why do I not seem yeah. shocked about that? Well, Kung Fu Panda 1, 2 and 3 were pretty good. Were they? But 4 was, yeah, well, it was good for a kid's film. You need to have kids, really. But oh, I'll probably still go even I really, I really do but, not need to have kids. <laughs> that's fine. But, and now you have to put up with us. So, it's just, it's not quite there. It, it done it on a real budget. Because a bit, he's a bit at the end, right? That if, and it's the only bit when you've got the rest of the ninja warriors in there. The rest of the fi right. fierce on five or whatever they are. Yeah. And you're like, oh, okay. Um, there's no talking on that bit. So they didn't have to get the voice actors back. And right. what you realise... Is this actually the reused animation from uh, Kung Fu Panda One? Really? Yep. Oh. So they Have went they big budget. Got, uh, right. They still got to back to the boy. They got dragged back to do Poe, and they also got them to do the, the theme song, which right. was um, a cover of Britney Spears' Peach. "Hit Me Baby One More Time." Oh, not Peaches then. No, but I must admit, the music video to it, which is actually one of the live premieres in China for Kung Fu Panda, is brilliant. Go and watch it on YouTube, I must admit. I was quite impressed with it. It's got KG in it as well. Brilliant. It's got what in um, it? KG, the other, the other side of Tenacious D. Oh, right, OK. But last week, he quit the band. Yeah. 
Can't it quit the band. Doesn't matter. But now we're back together again. <laughs> there you go, you see? Might need to stream a bit of Tenacious D. I'm not sure which songs I can pick, though. There's only a few. Uh. Fuck push ups. <laughs> fuck it gently. <laughs> Kill Bassa Sausage. Oh! <laughs> uh. Wonder Boy? Why not? Yeah, Wonder Boy was alright. Hey. I don't really know that many of their songs. They're, yeah. They're random, to say the least. Hmm. They are good, though. I do like Jack Black. I think he's funny. I mean, School of Rock. It's just brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Did you know the uh, drummer died? Really? The little kid? The little kid that played the drummer in School of Rock died. And he tried to drug a drug overdose, didn't he? I think so, yeah. He had that look yeah, about I mean... him. Oh, <laughs> well, that's a bit harsh. No, but you know what I mean. You just you look at him and you just think, that's the kind of kid whose fame's going to go over his head. And oh. hmm. have you seen those sort of reunions they've done when they get back together and no. start doing the song? What, yeah. The yeah, the actual cast. Really? Yeah. Oh dear, I bet it was shocking. One no, no, it's pretty good. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. A bit old now though, because that was a really that was a film quite a long time ago. Did we go to cinema to watch that Pugsy? Uh, I think we did, and I also had it on DVD. Yeah, so did I. <clears throat> but it wasn't real DVD, was it? Uh, What's not real what DVD? About. I don't know what you're talking uh, about. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. But then again, we went to see Tenacious D pick a destiny in the local cinema, and we were the only people in the whole Chuffing Cinema. Yeah, that on wasn't the a second or third fight. week of release, so it didn't do well. That film, I think. I uh, what was the one I went to see? Uh, oh God, what's the one with Jay and Silent Bob are in it, and Mall Rats? That's the one. Mall Rats. Have you seen that? No, I wasn't really a fan of Jay and Silent Bob. Yeah, Kevin, not into Kevin Smith. No, oh, it's... No. Australian Song Bob Strike Back. I suppose they got replaced by Harold and Kumar, didn't they? I don't know. <laughs> Which is absolutely terrible. Do you ever watch that, Pugsy? <laughs> when they went to White Castle. Yes. Or oh, Harold and Kumar get the munchies. Oh, it's just... Oh, is that that's the one I into when they get the munchies, is it? Yeah, you sunk my battleship. Yeah, it's shocking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd rather watch Freddy. Freddy got a finger. To be honest with you. God, oh, Daddy, would you like some sausage? Look, Daddy, I'm a farmer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh bizarre. Oh, <laughs> he's brilliant in road trip, in my opinion. Oh, road oh, trip yeah. is so good. Dong. Eat the mouse, bitch. Eat the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was watching um, his... In well, I say watching. I was listening mostly to his interview on Joe Rogan podcast. And, right. Uh, like, he's, he's now... He's, he's, mass he's got his own little ranch. He decided he, you know, the best thing for him to do was to buy a ranch. So he kind of lives on his own. Um, and he breeds mules. He's got his own mules. Right. Um, and like chickens and stuff Sounds like that. Dodgy. Oh yeah, no, but it was it was really really interesting podcast to listen to. Actually, I w would never expected him to have turned out like that. Sounds like he's so fed up of his extroverted nature that he had on yeah. TV everywhere. Yeah. That he just needed to step back a bit, I suppose, didn't he? I would say. Look at some of the jackass cast now. Oh god. Well, Bob is dead, isn't he? He is, yeah. He did his own one, didn't he? Yeah. Evil Abam. Well, that's it, and he just did everything against his mum and dad. His dad he must have wanted to God, kill him. I don't know. Do you not see the one where they put a, a massive alligator in the bedroom? No. Of I his mum and dad's house? Yeah, well. I tried to make 
I'm safe so fuck. That's horrendous. Stuff he did. What about when he put his. He filled Phil's car with fireworks? Yes. He was was he a professional uh, yeah. was he a professional skateboarder? He was, yeah. Yeah. Cause he was in he was in grind, wasn't he? Uh I think he might have been, yeah. Right. Only a bit of a cameo, so, wasn't it? And so was Tony Hawk, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, Bam yeah, Bam was in grind. That's a good film that is, if you get to watch that. It's got Tom Green in that. It's funny. I mean, you mean there was a skateboarder that was doing drugs? I really? Can't. What? Never. I can't believe it. What are you, smoking crack? What? <laughs> Chuffing it. Oh dear. Right, this weeding's going well. I'm pleased to report I've nearly fertilising. Well, if you're done, if you're interested, you can always pick up a couple of fertilising contracts for some cheap money. Yeah, why not? So I've got this. I've got this field to do, which 18 I'm on now. I've now got that done, and then I'm gonna. Is that you done now, Alan? Yep. The uh, the, uh, the flowers in the bakery. Right. Okay. Uh, hey, well done, the, Alan. Uh, I'll tell you what, he's, he's top quality worker, Alan is. He needs to be he's, paid more. Oh, it's, oh, well, he's a good worker. Let's just keep it Alan gets paid. <laughs> um, right, so I, what, I think what we'll do for Alan, you know, what we're going to do for Alan and Pugsy is when we get our merch out, they can get they can have our first T-shirts. How's that? Yeah. Oh. Well, no, they can't because I've already given the first T-shirt away. So... Yes, but the person you've given the first T-shirt to is a little bit different to <laughs> just a Alan bit. and Pugsy. <laughs> just a tiny bit from what I've seen, Malk. Mm, just a tiny bit different, yeah. Ooh. How so? Well, uh, female. Female. Okay. Um, and beautiful. Attractive. Whoa, what are you trying to say? Trying to say mm. that you're not beautiful you're not... or attractive. I think that's what he's trying to say. You're not Pugsy. my type, that's why. All lies. <laughs> uh, so Alan if you wanted to you can either fertilise the sorghum field or you can pick up that weeder and get field 47 weeded it's up to you what do you want to do I'll just move the weeder out the middle of the road so I'll, I'll might as well do that <laughs> alright ok then I'm just going to move the weeder out the middle of the road because it's kind of blocking the highway I'm kind of so hoping you... that the sorghum can be driven over. Should be able to. Uh, yeah, it's, for, it's first stage because we only planted yeah. it last time, didn't we? That's good. Um, when are you releasing your pictures of your merch? I will, your model, Mal? I will coincide it with kind of the release of the store, I suppose. I think I might be getting a few more pictures as well. So You only sent me one. Well, I only showed you one, yeah. Um, but no, I'm going to do some more. You're not going to send me some more that you've got? No, no, that's that's more than enough. You've seen more than enough. Oh. Oh, okay. I mean, they're all similar to that one, to be fair. But uh, some of them definitely aren't going out, I should say. Okay. So I can take that one and that's done. Right. Okay. Well, I'm going to take this back. I've actually, my, I, I, I made, I don't know if you've seen on uh, Spreadsheet, there's those um, bucket hats and it fits my logo so good. Like, <laughs> so I've actually got one ordered. I mean, my niece wanted one for her birthday, which is tomorrow, and it hasn't arrived. So uh, I'm bad uncle tomorrow, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Shocking, Mount. Shocking. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to change my T-shirt slightly because the logo, because it's got black, it's printed the black bit, and everything's on a black shirt. So it actually probably would look better if I had that bit transparent. So I'm 
probably end up changing it slightly before I release it. But. Right, okay. I need to finish off my shop channel and get it released at some point. Is that really had time? I will do, I think. I, I did have a bit and then I want to change I want to change shop actually. Because I want to change it to the other shop. Which you're using. Are you using which one are you using? I'm I'm not using spring, I'm using the other one. Red shot. Yeah. Alright. I can't remember which one I was using. Alright, Peter, using. have a good evening. Um mm -hmm. I hope you oh, is Peter off? He's gotta go. And ask no questions. Oh. Who knows well, what he's doing? Enjoy the evening, Peter. Wink wink not not. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. Stay out of the kitchen. <laughs> They have the kitchen, yeah, that's true. Unless you're using the dinner tape. <laughs> no problem, Peter. Thank you very much for joining us, buddy. Hopefully, see you again soon. Oh. Oh, Pugs is up there tonight, is he? Okay. Alright, let's Knocking get out this. some contracts. Nicely done, sir. Thank you very much, as always. So nitrogen was terrible on this field, so it's going to absolutely pile through it. That's what she said. What? What? Who's piling through? Who's piling through who? Not quite sure, mate. Not quite sure. Right. I'm going to take this back, and then I'm going to get the I'm going to weed the other field with the big kit. Got the weeding contracts smashed out. So we're gonna once you've got your contracts done, are we gonna skip to the next month? Is that the plan? I think so, because right. if we're quite happy to, we may as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just um, I'm gonna do the weeding contracts. I've got nothing else to do on my fields. And go from there, sort of thing. I think so. That should be good. A little bit of money in. We've only got two fertilising contracts, haven't we? Me and Bugsy have, so I don't know how many you've got left, Mel. I've, I've just got one weeding contract to do that's at 12%. Right, OK, well, I'll probably be a bit behind you then, because on that. Right. Do you have a, a weeder on the farm as well, Greyman? Do you want me to, once I've finished fertilising... Actually, I think I do have a weeder, so I could probably, once I've done this fertilising, I... I could go and help Alan out. I do have a weeder, yes. That was a massive lag spike there. That was me skipping three machines, I think. Sorry. Ah. Uh, that was my yeah. fault, so I apologise about that. It's all right. I just did a bit of a dance in the field. It's weird, because it never affected me, that. I didn't see the lag spike. Oh, uh, field two. Field two, I'm actually going to cancel, I think. Because we need a hoe for that, so I might as well cancel that one. <laughs> uh, That's what he need. said. <laughs> Hey! It's a dirty hoe. £190 penalty. Oh well, here's what it is. Alright, so I'm going to go and... Whatever you do, Pugsy, do not accept um, Field 18's contract, please. What's the Field 18 contract? It's the weeding contract where I've got this machine hired from. Oh, don't uh, don't complete it. You mean? Yeah, don't, don't okay. complete it, please. Thank you. Because that will leave... cause me nothing but a headache. I will leave all contract completions to you. Well, you can complete you can complete the fertilising contracts, mate. When you're done, I'm not bothered by that. God, I'm going to run out of fertiliser here. Oh, I'm going to run out of fertiliser as well. Really? Oh, have we got any more bags? Uh, no, I took more from the shop. That's a right, big, so big you... fertiliser up there. Oh. Okay, well you got you got contract right. You got some farm rights, so you should I've, be able to. I've used seventy percent on the headland of a sorghum field. By a couple of bags. Seventy percent? Yeah. Jesus. It's only a two inch spreader. Oh yeah, it's just that um nice and wide but it's tiny. Yeah, it's nice and wide but it's tiny. Story of my life. Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. Wee, Alan's on it as well. I mean, we're missing Red Dog tonight for the, for the smut, so we'll fill it's in ourselves, girth. shall we? It's the girth that matters, really, Mel. 
I have to say, I have to Nothing. agree. I've absolutely no idea what I'm doing here because I've gone the complete wrong way. Are you still dry? I'm chasing Pugsy down. Yeah. Say again, sorry. I said, are you still dry? Yes, I'm still dry. <laughs> Shush you. <laughs> I can't, believe, I can't believe you shushed me. Watch out, there's a bridge there. There's water, when? there's water. Look out. Flash. Look at all of you. Do <laughs> <laughs> I want to be invited back in again? No, well, it's kicked from the channel. It's kicked me down, it's kicked me down, it's kicked <laughs> that is the uh, the end of Corpy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The co-op is over. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Welcome to our, our Corpy single player <laughs> survival series. I think you'll be all right now. It you'll survive work now. as well. I tell you. Oh come on, please, think, uh, please let me get to the end of this row. Come on. Oh, 80, 70, 60. Oh, it's going to let me. 50. I'll have to, rep I'll tell you what, I'll have to replace um, PC player out with Pugsley, wouldn't I? Yeah. Yes. PC Pugsley. PC Pugsley. And then you, you <laughs> tell you what, you could replace me with uh, Bubblefish. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, is he, is he watching the scene? I don't think he is, No, is he? no, I think he's in. It's uh, not about. I knew oh, there was a shame. It was the lack of the bubble fish. Hey, it might be. His keyboard might be knackered. But, uh... <laughs> I'm not sure this stream is very popular this evening. I tell you, not getting many viewers on this tonight. No, but it's just it's just many nice views. to just play the game and have a laugh in it and not worry. Yeah. No, Corpy's pretty relaxed now, though, isn't it? Yeah, I think, yeah, because we've won it, so. Well, I don't think it's that, it's because <laughs> we kind of have a general idea of what we're doing, and yeah, the farm's growing quite nicely. I don't know, I think, I think, I think we're going to get to the point very soon where it's going to be hard to progress. How so? Because we're running out of room. If we want to go any bigger. We're going, to, we're going to start needing bigger tractors, bigger equipment. So it's just we're going to have to have all the money in to do that. So I think we're going to find ourselves in a position where we're actually struggling to progress. Because you need well, I think a you get, big chunk of cash. Yeah. I think you get to that point anyway, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I, Naturally in the game. Yeah, so you start off really... Health. You start off struggling... And then all of a sudden you get to the point when everything comes together, you get a whole heap of money, but then it's like, right, to now go further, we have to spend all that money, and, and you're just not making enough to do it. You know, and then you start like where you did it, you're almost starting at the beginning again, building up. Yeah, true. I mean, I think we're, we're now going to, if we don't, I think we'll be all right in the next episode, because we know what we're doing. Mm-hmm. And that's going to make quite a big difference, I think, isn't it? Oh, God, yeah. And that'll make a big difference with what we're going to do on the next episode. And then, after that, I think, potentially, we only need... I don't know. I think it then looking at equipment changing, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, there's going to have to come... There's going to come a point when we have to do tractors. We have to start... Uh, getting uh, the big horse. Getting the big horsepower in and... Well, no, we've kind of got a plan yeah, for that, we, though, haven't we? We have, yeah. We've got a plan for just under the 250 mark, haven't we? Yeah. Um, so that's going to help quite a bit. And then I think all we need then is potentially another track to probably over the over the 250, maybe 300 mark. Yeah. And then it's, but then it's, then it's like drills, planters, things like that, and it, we need to start again. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but the fields aren't massive, so you can start with a a good sized planter, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. And then drills. You're looking at direct drills off mod hub, really, aren't you? Possibly, yeah. I think. Because mm. the base game ones aren't 
aren't amazing for direct drills in my opinion. They're not massively wide and they're all what Pottinger I mean the Lumpkin Solitaire is a great drill but it's not direct. It's not direct drill, no. So it does make it a bit it doesn't doesn't really help, especially with PF score. Just continuously being sick in my mouth. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh well. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll sort it. I think. I, mean, I don't. I, I don't know how long they'll. I don't know how long the series will go on for. Well, that is the other side of it. You just don't know, do you, with what they're going to do? Um, yeah. Very difficult to know. I mean, it might. What are we on now? Twenty. Twenty-seven. Well, we've hours, recorded London. twenty-seven, haven't we? Yes, yeah, so twenty-eight. He's ready to record on Monday, isn't it, for us? Mm-hmm. But I mean, it, you know, it, I, I would I would say it'll go to episode 50 at least. So, you know, we're past halfway. Three. It's a good series, though. It is. A few too many, few too many trees now, I think, though. <sighs> yeah. But the map's nice. It is nice. I, well, well, I don't know. I th do you not think we've kind of got to the point where we don't think really we've... need to do trees now? I don't think we need to do trees for money, no. Oh, definitely. I don't, think oh, we need to do, I don't think we need to do trees for trees' sake because we've cleared all the areas we want. I suppose we've got the soybean field yeah. to clear that area there. Yeah, that But make, I think do that a bit later on because we might have a bit of a fiddle with yarders on that, might we? Mm hmm. Just fell off. But if we do, then I think. I think we do need to move the mill. Yeah. I think we could afford to, though, you know. If it's empty, I think you could afford to sell it and then move it and then put it back down again in the right so place. So do you think. Um, oh, well, is it empty? Yeah, I think it is empty, isn't it now? Yeah, it's empty now before we put the sorghum in, so we could do that. Uh, I mean, it'll, pro it'll process the sorghum pretty fast. Yeah, it's, it's the pig food, isn't it? Yeah, but we can, we can stick, that, we can stick that in a trailer. So, yeah, we'll do something. Have you guys? Um, cause I'm a couple of episodes behind. Have you got pigs now? Though? No, not yet. <laughs> uh, say no more. Not yet. Um... So it's, it's kind of, they're coming. So we're, we're getting everything ready for getting some animals in. So we're going to have obviously got the hay to mm. sort out as well. And that'll be ready for sheep because what else did you use hay for? Um, TMR. And then obviously looking at, well, yeah, I may use it for TMR, yeah. <laughs> Silly person. You fertilised field three, Pugsley. I have indeed. I'm now into field twenty-one. I'll collect field three then. I'm on field ten weeding. Lovely stuff. Not in too bad. It's not the easiest thing to spot because I think I've got sorghum in this field, or maybe canola in it. It's nothing. Can't see you cannot see weeds for toffee <laughs> at all. Well, thankfully, I'm fertilizing over sunflowers, so it's fairly easy to see where I am. You need GPS, yeah. I do need to put the GPS mod on, I must admit. And Sorry. Then I need to learn Keep how to use it, <laughs> but no, we no, need to make enough money to afford it. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's 18 grand in it on a tractor, 25 in it. I thought it was 15, but... Oh, right, okay. It might be 15. Is it 25 for the Azaria? Oh, yeah, that sounds about right. Might be that. I generally don't use GPS, but I need to. I have used it before. And it is really good. You just... I don't know. Big amounts of field work just to use course play. Yeah. That's why me and Mal keep using course play for weeding on Corpy. It's like, end of the episode, we're going to leave the worker just doing the weeding. Bye! Because I'm just too cheap to pay, pay course play workers. <laughs> uh, yeah, but what, no, nobody wants to sit and watch weeding. So. 
well, I've got I've got some people on my stream were sitting and watching breeding, <laughs> and I'm, I'm even bored. <laughs> so I could put it on course where I wanted to, but. You see, I'll pick up the weeder, Alan. I'll oh, come and I'll come and help you finish off. I'm pretty, I'm pretty much done now. I've got one yeah. swipe left. Oh, yeah. is that all? Just one? Is that what thirteen percent's going to be? Right. I'm going to come back, come back down and back up again. I'm done. Okay. Um, so, have I got any contracts anyway, left to collect? No, just the one that you're doing. It's uh, thirty-four. It's done apparently. Yeah, it's going to be easier. Uh, there is another fertilizing contract I could do. There's a big fertilizing contract. It's worth 20 grand. I don't think I can really do that with my spreader. Field 43, is that close to me? Uh, do, 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 I'm going to get do, out and do this. It is. Mm, don't know whether to do that or not. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. How much? I'm gonna How much longer have you got left, GM? Um, well, apparently, this fertilising contract that I just put onto a worker because I'm going to do some loading up. Twenty Weeding. minutes. Oh, right, okay. This is twenty minutes on that, so right, I'm going to stop doing some loading up or some bits. I can, I, think. I can take another fertilising contract then. Yes. I don't know what contracts we've got. I suppose if it gets past twelve o'clock as well. Mm -hmm. There might be some more turn up as well. Okay. There's a spraying contract as well there. Yeah. Wow, a spraying contract. Field 16. Have you seen the size of the chuffing tractor? No. Ridiculous. It's a massive case um, magnum. Right. Like you wouldn't use that for your spraying tractor unless you've got serious money. Have I got winky pots? <gasps> I've got a tractor that doesn't have winky pots. So right. it. Get out. Go away. That's just disgraceful. How is that even? How's possible? your um How's your thing you getting on Mal? Your um uh, you were the series you're recording for on oh, Expedition. Mudrunner. Oh, we've got Bubble Fishes yeah. in and UTB Gamer. How are you doing? Hey, Welcome Bubble both. Fish. Hey, guys. Yeah. Is that how you? How are you doing? Uh, so, Expeditions. Oh, it's, it's all right. Um, actually, I need to record one tomorrow, thinking about it. Um, yeah, it's a good, it's good game. I just think it needs multiplayer. That's the only problem with it. It doesn't have multiplayer. I think it. I think it'll be. I think it'll be more fun, but it's not as good as Snowrunner. Snowrunner's still far better. Uh, Forty-seven, Okay. Uh, mm, yeah, we're all good. Thanks, right UTB gamer. Um, what? Spinning around with my mouse. Good night. What's everyone? Uh, what's me? everyone been up to? Doing going on tonight? Just beep a mouse and now it's just. There's a weeded contract on 44. I can take if you like with with this kit. Yeah, I just just accept that contract then and get on it. Probably how much flour I've got to pick up in a bit. How's contracts getting on? Pugs, we uh, just had to go grab another bag of fur and then really? we are... sure. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so Bubblefish has been uh, Bubblefish has been all over Fallout series, so it's really good. Good lad. Yeah, it's definitely is good, good series. And if you've played any of the games before, I mean, I haven't played them, but I've watched a lot of people play them. 
and it is pretty close to it. It's um, yes. it, it's set it, after it, Fallout 4, isn't it? Pretty it, much. It is a part. So apparently, I've watched a couple of IGN videos on it where they've interviewed the guy at Bethesda who came up with Fallout. Yeah. And um, the main writer for the Fallout game itself. Okay. And apparently, when Amazon went to him about it, they said, "Look, we need to be. We want to be completely true to source material as much as we can." Mm -hmm. as much as we're allowed um so obviously there's some bits in fallout the tv show that aren't actually in the games but they have always apparently been thinking about doing another fallout game right that this will help fill some gaps in between before they release the game apparently cool that's cool. going to be quite interesting because obviously at the end of fallout where that where it finishes is kind of where one of the games picks up from, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, is it? No, I'm not yes. sure now. Yeah, it is. Not, I don't want to make drop any spoilers though, so I don't want to say. <laughs> the, so Bubblefish is saying the eyes of the lead lady from Fallout are huge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's. Uh, oh, you. Oh well, what's her name? Yeah, it, 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 yeah. I think she plays it really well. Oh, she does. Yeah, yeah. There's like a real naivety, isn't there? And that really comes across. And but I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's big. Got, the thing that a lot of people have said is that the series has got really good character development, unlike a lot of other stuff that's come out, <laughs> like over the last couple of years. The character development on it is so much better. Yeah. And I, I quite like the way they've done the the, the flashbacks and the cutscenes. Yeah. And they do work quite well as well. They don't fill in too much information, but they fill in just enough information to work out what's actually going on. Because so, I think I was the, the was, really was the um, game maker's logo was that in that suit of armor and the shoulder pads? The Aspethesa Soft um, gear, yeah. Yeah, I can't remember if that's in the, like the game. Uh, I don't do. know actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I, I personally have never played the games. So. But another friend of mine played the originals from when they first ever came out. Right. Which was like 2001, I think, wasn't it? They were like oh. a, it was like a top down isometric, wasn't it? RPG. <laughs> so, right. A bit like so. what uh, Grand Theft Auto was. Yeah, a little bit. Um, so you start not, off, and one of the. One of the missions for that was I can't remember what vault it was but the vault the vault's water chip stopped working <laughs> so you have to go outside so obviously the nods in the Fallout series when they find out certain things about the water chip in 33 then that's kind of a bit of a nod to the right. game okay so a bit yeah. of an easter egg well, Bubblefish is worrying that uh, you're going to spoil it for him sorry you have you seen how yeah. I've seen Los Angeles have offered twenty-five million pounds in tax relief to Amazon if they film the next series? Who has? Uh, so California. Yeah. It's not filmed in California. It's actually it's filmed up in upstate New York, apparently, New right. York State. But California have reached out. The state of California have reached out and said, if you film in California, we'll give you twenty-five million tax relief. Wow. To film it. Jeez. Well, do you know that, like, California is something like... has a deficit. Is it something like 200 billion? Or something like that? They were, that the entire state was bankrupt a few years back. Yeah. Was that, after, was that after Arnold Schwarzenegger got out? And then, basically... Yeah, that's about right. And, and then, um, they were saying, like, whatever... The deficit is, it's exactly, or pretty close to what Texas has in, like, um, profit. So they're basically saying that Texas could write off California's debt. Wow. Brilliant. Yeehaw. That's quite impressive, isn't it? But in Texas, <laughs> there's a lot of industry in it, doesn't it? And a lot of money with oil. Yeah, but they other... Yeah, but I think it's, like... Um, 
it hasn't got. It is run by crazy people. And what do you mean? <laughs> you mean lefties? And they, <laughs> uh, you said that. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, and and they just have like, well, they're all about Very political, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, they're all they're all about uh, capitalism, aren't they? Really, in Texas, so. Well, they're but all they, about capitalism, NASCAR, oil, <laughs> um, guns, and loving you, and um, being faithful to your mama. If you need right. to sue a company, do it in Texas. Yeah. What, because they've got lots of money to pay you? No, their, their judiciary is low to favour uh, people suing companies. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Look at that. Right. Hope you export a couple of drills to Texas. Sounds good to me. They are bubble fish, that's right. Everyone, Everyone's leaving California to go to Texas. Exactly. Oh, they're fed up with the lefty state, aren't they? Yeah. Gavin Newsom's just ruined the place. There's a uh, great demand for lime, if anybody's got any. We've got some. Great demand for lime? What, as in you can sell it? Yeah. Yeah, some maps you can sell lime. Alright. Uh, I do have a load of bags of lime. I wonder if I'd make any money on it. Well, you just with a cash. Yeah, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Five hundred and nine pounds for a thousand liters. So, let's see how much I've got. Is it actually even be worth getting the trailer out loading it up? I mean, I mean, not that I would condone it, anyway. And you are on a multiplayer um, where you're competing against each other, but you could buy lime for three hundred and fifty quid. For two thousand liters, and sell it for five hundred and nine for a thousand liters. Right. Well, I've got. Right. Let's load the trailer. Up. Alan, let's load the trailer. Up. <laughs> we're not. We're not. We're not buying. We're not buying more lime. But you could sell. That's what... unfair. But I think we could sell what we've got, which I'm going to do now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've just caused a fire sale. It's going to be like bugger on the, uh, the, the lockdown. Or it will just keep buying up and the way it's all gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so that's for We didn't need any because the other half. The other half's ruddy uh, granddad had got something like a year's worth of toilet roll up in his loft. Oh, God. That he bought from the local booker over the last 10 years. So, I have a funny. Well, it's not a funny story, but it is a story about toilet roll and lockdown. <laughs> um, Were you doing I, dodgy deals? No. So I had a customer who was a commercial cleaner who had taken a contract before COVID. You can take that down to the shop anyway, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, before COVID, he took a contract to clean this big um, uh, factory, and the contract included supplying all of the toilet rolls to all of the toilets and then they backtracked on that until actually we'll supply our own toilet roll but at that point he had already stockpiled on cheap toilet roll so he had I think I want to say something like 10,000 rolls of toilet roll Blown. what about the then... grease brief papers type where did he keep 10,000 rolls of toilet paper because <laughs> they're special cleaners they'd bought in massive bulk and uh, you know that was going to do them for the life of the contract. Yeah, but he must have a wearer to keep it. Is I, like, so, I'm sat on all this toilet roll at the moment. Um, so I could make an absolute fortune. However, how much of an arsehole am I going to look selling toilet roll during COVID? <laughs> well, a businessman, cook at matey, you sold all them, not workable. Um, Face yeah. masks. Yeah. Yeah. It, I, I could make money out of this, but I don't want all of the hate from people going, oh, taking advantage. Nobody's got toilet roll and you're selling it for a profit. It's, it's a yeah, but, toilet, but really. I. Did anyone actually run out of toilet roll? No. No. I mean, I remember. Go, I remember trying. I mean, I, I always, you know, 
I would buy like nine rolls of toilet, you know, a nine roll pack. Um, probably use one a week, maybe. I don't know. Um, and then, you know, COVID hit and you go to the supermarket and there was no toilet roll. I think, oh, well, I've still got eight rolls. I'll go next week. Oh, there's no toilet roll. Oh, well, I've got another seven rolls. I'll be all right, you know. And then I remember being in the car park in this Tesco and there was these two, this old couple come out with two trolleys and they both, because it was being rationed, and they'd both had two packs of like nine toilet roll each. So they'd been in there with separate trolleys and bought the two packs that they were allowed to. <laughs> and he's just like, what are you going to do with fucking 36 rolls of toilet paper between you? <laughs> you know, if I, if I ran out, I would be buying a newspaper and using that. You know, it's like, you know, I'll get by. <laughs> So, I just thought it's just uh, a madness. Which, which newspaper would you use? Oh, Guardian. <laughs> I'd say the Daily Mail. But uh, oh, yeah. yeah, it was just it was. I remember talking to other Tesco staff about it, and uh, and uh, and she says, "Yeah, she says, listen, because I went there and the to- the shelf was empty of toilet roll, and she says, she says we only just stocked it up half an hour ago. She says there's people waiting." outside the doors for us to bring it out and they're grabbing it off the, the cart as we're pushing it out to the shelves it's like I said Jesus Christ you know it's like is this what the is this how we, deal. is this the end of the world because <laughs> no one can wipe their ass that's why I roll you know and yeah you see all these sort of like films don't you where they, they talk like there's an apocalypse and you know, everyone just immediately, it just goes to anarchy straight away. And you think, oh, that's a film. That'll never happen. It freaking would. <laughs> it absolutely yeah, would. Probably. Straight away. That's what would happen. You know, the problem is, that's what Matt Hancock based his whole premise on, wasn't it? Watching Pandemic or whatever it was. Ugh. Well, yeah. Well, Alan's nearly finished on this field. How are you getting on with your yeah, contract? Yeah, I was. 84% on last one, mate, so right, we should okay. be done in a minute. Yeah. So, I'll, look at, I'll literally move all my more oh. fire out so I can get it all to yeah. spawn. This is sublime. Oh, you're making a bit more money on, this, on the line there, mate. Yeah, boy. Good spot. Thank you. You are welcome. Two and a half grand on, on lime. <laughs> For a couple of bags of lime. So I've got another two and a half grand to come in. So, yeah, 18. I'm going to end up on 18 grand. Well, I've made 16 grand in this uh, this episode. Or this this month. Well, by the time that other contract's done, it'll probably be past 12 o'clock. So we'll have to see what else is on the contract market. Okay. Yeah. Aren't we? Yeah. Because usually at 12 o'clock, you, you might pop a couple more contracts in. Mm-hmm. Right, that's all the flour out. So that's good. All right. How are we doing on the chickens? This is a lovely little area you've got, by the way, GM. It's a nice, you know what? It is actually a really nice little tractor. I do quite like the lower um, horsepower. Well, quite a high horsepower area, but I do quite like the class ones tractors. They're quite nice. Nice sunroof yep. and sun. So, how did it turn out? Nice quite. How did it turn out in the Netherlands then, Bubblefish, in terms of uh, COVID uh, and the shops and what was in stock? I bet they were much more chilled. I, I don't bet, know why. I bet they weren't. Didn't the Netherlands? The Netherlands didn't lock down, did they? Uh, Sweden didn't lock down. Coffee, tobacco, canned goods, lots of everything. It gave me scurvy because I forgot the vitamin C. <laughs> <laughs> And that working, working like a pirate. Yeah. Right, I'm going to feed the chick chicks. A bit more food. Stock ran out for the most important things. Yeah. We lived off the. See what we lived off. We lived off the Morrison's um, food boxes that they started to do. I don't. Th- so, I, I don't think. I it worked really well. I don't think us. I ever struggled. I mean I was I was in Gateshead, I was on that job over in Gateshead. Um I was I was living on my own. And I don't really think there was ever a shortage of anything. 
Is that oh, you? Shortage of everything where we were. Is that you what finished now, Al? Yeah, that's me done. Right, let's collect them then. Right, some food boxes. Yeah. So you paid 25 quid and right. Morrison sent out um, the next day uh, food in a special cardboard box that had ice packs in that was delivered by DPD the next day. So that's just like Hello Fresh. Selection... Well, it, it just had a selection of all their stuff. Right. So it had a selection of meat, had a selection of pasta, had, a, had one toilet roll. Where is the food trigger for this? For nightmare. Um, and that was it. Right. I got stuck, haven't I? Let's have a quick look at these. And it worked nails. quite well for us, actually. We 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 didn't generally have any problems after that. Yeah. I can't believe that. What is First going on here? contract on forty-eight. There's what? Sorry. Fertilizer contract on forty-eight. What yeah, but I'd, I'd have to go and buy some more fertilizer. So, and and if Greyman's nearly finished, then we, we might we might be on skipping on a month. Yeah, so. fair enough. What has happened to this trailer? It has got stuck quite badly. Right, good. Brilliant. Excellent. Not the best. Well, I've got a few more viewers on the live stream, so hopefully if you are watching the live streams on either mine or Mac's channel, please remember to smash the like button because it's massively appreciated. There we are. I'll just feed it. I'll just feed it forward. The front PTO. <laughs> Pretty Rudolph trailers. Yeah. What's wrong with Rudolph trailers? Is Matt... oh, yeah. It's the driver. My god, how much flour have you got? Uh, a bit. A lot. There we go. I thought I'd finish the job off. Thank you. Why don't you eat yourself a bakery? Right, there's 12 o'clock. Uh, the contracts have got less, if anything. <laughs> okay, well, if we've accepted them all, which we haven't, let me accept them. Collect, collect. Right, let's just see if there's any new ones. Yeah, there's a few new ones. There you go. Mm, what do you want to, I mean, what do, you, do you want to do that? We, or could do you move, want to... we could move on. Should we move on a month? We could move on a month if you want. Yeah, yeah. let's move on a month. Why not? Let me just part this trailer up. There'll be more contracts next month, won't there? Yeah, yeah. Possibly. Fine. Just wanted to get the uh, chickens fed, really. Put that around a bit. Uh, so, to you, Mac, if you want to go to the sleep trigger and move it on till, what, 8 o'clock the next what, day? I don't know where my sleep trigger is. Is it here? Ah, oh, I shall do it then. Does Malk have a sleep trigger? Or yeah, yeah, I've got it? a yeah. farm again. He's put it back what? again, isn't he? Hmm. There you go. There we go. Do, 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 do. Bit of a drink. How's the whiskey going down, chaps? It's gone. <laughs> oh wow, look at this. I am now on Yeah, you're right. I am on stage. Oh, it says ready to harvest. Wow. Okay. Few... So what's oh, what we contract? Interesting thing with airborne viruses is that he can get immune by keeping the initial contact very small. I did five minute exposure to it, then ten minutes so on till I was immune. I don't think I ever got COVID. No, I don't think I did. No. I thought I had it, and then it was something a bit more serious. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, was. yeah, a bit, 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 bit more serious than COVID. It would have been nice if it yeah. was COVID, but it really wasn't. So how's our contracts um, looking? So we just got um, fertilising and stuff. There's a harvesting on 42. GM. Ooh. Yes, do you want to okay. take that then, Alan? Yeah, look at that. Right, there it is. I can't, I can't hear what Pugs is saying. Sorry, mate. La, 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 la. <laughs> what a knobhead. Vehicle shop. Vehicle shop. <laughs> oh, it's gone. What, the, the Deutz? What? The, yeah. No, it's active. I, I, I picked it for you. You, you picked it up. I thought you said I could take it. 185. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll go, I'll go get the officer. 
Yeah, okay. Um, so is that big Entered. fertilizing contract? It is a big fertilizing contract. Okay, let's get some fertilizing contracts done then, Shree. Um, Do you want me to crack on? So I'll yeah, you crack get on. the... Gonna, um, which one should I use? Well, I I'll use the... Um, yeah, that's probably a good idea. That I'll use this with the trailer. Do we have a holster? Yeah, yeah, I've got John Deere. Yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. Yeah, sounds like I'm putting my heart and soul into this. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> um, oh, have you accepted all the fertilizing contracts, Wiggly? I have. Oh, I was going to borrow some equipment for that, but okay. Oh, sorry about that. It's all right, because well, I've actually got nothing else to do. But there we go. The smallest one out first. And then uh, I... It... No, you crack on, don't worry. Um, if you guys are doing that, then I'm probably going to... Field 19. Field 19. I'll the go and take... One I'll take this trailer over for you, Alan. And then... There's something there. I'm probably going to end up doing some no. more fertilising. Okay. But I might actually... Grey Man's just... Uh, give me a thought that if there's a nice spreader, I'll just borrow the equipment. Spring contract. Sorry, GM, I was probably a little bit too hasty there. Uh, yeah, fine, yeah it, it definitely is. Bubble fish, it is ready. The only problem is that I haven't got a decent mower for it. So that's kind of what I'm going to work for. Um, there is something in the new sale, but yeah, I don't think too. I don't think it's worth me buying. Um, and I probably can't afford it anyway. So I'll just have Some a look again. In, I? So, take too long, I don't think this one. No, there's nothing here really. That Agristar is not a bad bad buy, but uh, could do with bigger tractors really. So oh, I'm probably going to go for that. What the Agristar? Yeah. Oh, yeah get yes. It, get it bored. I ain't got enough money yet. I agree, Jimmy. It is a bit sad to see Pelagni down. Are you dropping in to chat this evening or voice this evening at all, Jimmy? Because you'll probably have a we'll lot more information for. on this. So if I went for this one, 400, it's only going to cost me 406 to borrow that. So I will borrow that one. Oh, that didn't go well. I know you backed into Malk's new tractor. You can do whatever you want. Well, yeah, I was reversing when you spawned that. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's just grab a few bags of fertilizer. Is that going to be any good at doing this contract? Might cost me more in Rudy. Yeah, I have, to, way, get, I have to get a good mower. The wait for your contract, by the way, Yeah. Um, is the other side of my... Oh, did you? I think they're my fertilizer bales, I'm not sure. No, these ones are mine here. Are they? Okay, so yeah. this herbicide's mine. Okay. Uh, we need to get that mod on that makes it fill everything up. Uh, yeah, I'll have to put that on actually, whatever it was. Red, um, big bag pallets or whatever it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Is that Red Dog's mod? No. Oh, no. Okay. no, he introduced me to it though. Right, okay. No, it's not Red Dog's name. It is not. He just um, introduced me to it and then it went on to a multiplayer game that I was playing on. And then it went on the Fen Edge one yeah. as well because we kind of borrowed the mods. So. But one thing for Jimmy actually in chat have you seen some of the more information on the Deutschland map by Edo Mod? Right, so let's have a look. He's posted some more information this week can about we do? it. We can do all of them. Looks very, very nice, I must admit. Very impressed with the look of it. Probably the map to the PDA doesn't look too small either. So but I think Polygni is coming out again next week, isn't it? All out. It's been the the test it's gone back into testing, hasn't it? With Mod Hub. So I would, because it looks good. It really does. Um it's not anywhere close yet though. So that's the only problem. It does look good. The lands of Italy was good, but it just seemed a bit small. But obviously, he was waiting for the he's waiting for the extension, isn't he? He's thirty-four. Perfect, twenty-five. 
So 42 is the harvesting. Okay. Are you doing 42 this time? Oh, sorry. Oh, Alan's, Alan's do doing 42? Yeah, Alan's, Alan's harvesting. Well, there's a message on Discord. I'll have a look in a second. Don't know if this is going to be enough herbicide or not, but we'll give it a whirl. But the only problem with that Deutz far tractor, Pugsy, is it's only 185 volts and we've already got a tractor at 185. Uh, so we've sold well, the tomatoes, bubble fish. The bread isn't the best price, so. Uh, it's just a low, uh, uh, it's a low hour used tractor, that's all. So I, I, do have yeah, true. I do have some silage bales. I don't know if they're fully fermented yet, but they can go into the BGA if they are. Well, you probably don't. To... Sometimes I need to concentrate on getting some money in so I can do my grass. That's true. I can do my silage then. That's a big thing I think to do. Don't be tempted by the shiny thing then. No, not at the moment. If it stays around, I might do. But yeah, at the moment, might need to just wait off that one. Okay, I shall have a look in a minute. Is it something I can talk about in the live stream or is it just to be spoken about off the live stream, Jimmy? I'll wait for the chat. Yes, okay, that's fine. I'll have a look in a second then, sir. Thank you. Appreciate that. Right. Uh... Right, I'll set this off in a second then and I'll uh, Shame I couldn't customise this spreader and have the wide discs on it. But Would that be the breedle spreader? Yeah. Good spreader. Oh yeah, that. same same message what I read on their Facebook then. His so it's lovely um, spreader. It was a model that they use that they the, couldn't come to some, some kind of arrangement with the uh, with the actual creator, could they? One of the so. best spreaders, I would say. Bugs no, it. it's not. The breeder is not. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. I don't know. What, what do you think's wrong with it? I just don't like the look of them. Especially when it's got the extension on it. It just looks really, really stupid. I think it looks cool as when it's got the extension. But with oh, the... Okay. It is... Probably one of the most versatile spreaders in the game. It's not got a massive width, though, is it? Yeah, with the extension spreaders on. It hasn't got 48 meters, though, is it? Yeah, but those stupid little ones with 48 meter spread. It's okay having 48 meter spread, but without the capacity, that's just stupid. Yeah. But no, if I, you've got I precision like fire. When you've got precision farming and you hardly use any fertiliser, they're pretty good, those ones, to be fair. Yeah, but unless you like... Lime is the killer, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. God. Part yeah. of it is a bit like have a massive have a massive fur lime spreader for, for liming and have the smaller, wider spread for the fur. Yeah. yeah. Do you know, it's a, bit, it's a bit like that, but I quite like the Amazoni mod one that's around on ModHub, which mm -hmm. is the base game one, which is, I think it's... The TL. It's modded to have lime. Yeah, it's the ZG TS ten thousand and one, but there's one that's been modded for lime. That's a really good spreader, actually, because it's got the width that it should have, but it's then modded for 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 lime. Plus, it's a lot of money though. It's like eighty grand. Right. Evening, bubblefish. Thank you for joining our the chat on my side as well, sir. Hopefully, you are well. How are you getting on with the contracts, Bugsley? Oh, 87 cent, yeah, not too bad. Read the first one already. If you need nice. emptied, Alan, just give me a shout and I'll pop into the tractor and come and unload you. I'm just going to cut through back to the trailer. Right, okay. What an okay for a bit. Well, have you got your first field, you got your first contract field of thingy then, you guys? We've got a, har we've got a harvest oh, on, yeah. Oh, right, crikey. That's surprising. 
What we harvesting? Well, prob barley, Wheat. isn't it? I don't know. It's yeah, barley. Barley. The All right. Early that is barley, isn't it? It's early barley harvest. But well, what we'll it? yeah, what we'll do with that is, um, we'll just tip what we need, and then, or does that, co or does this contract system make you use it all? No, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay. No. So we'll, I haven't we'll just it. I haven't changed the speed. Yeah, headache. we'll just tip whatever uh, the contract needs, you and need, the rest can go into my grain mill. Terrible. Oh, and you wouldn't do the same. Yeah, of course I would. That's why I got a load of sorghum from, I think, this time. <laughs> like before, I think I got a load of sorghum that I'm using to feed my chickens. It was from a contract that was left over. So I've not actually had to pay for anything to be... Um, to feed my chickens, I don't think. Right. I've got three pens, so... It does Brilliant. pretty well. I've got a massive amount of eggs, but eventually it'll build up, won't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, one of the, one of the mods that just got released was a, a a big chicken pen. It's only about twelve grand, and it holds five hundred chickens. Wow! Oh. They're topping it. Jesus. Good question, Bullfish. So, is this aimed at me or is it aimed at both me and Mal? Because it's probably aimed at me and Mac, it's fine. Um, Bullfish has said, Did you shorten the playing time per episode on Corpy? It seemed to go from 70 minutes per episode to about 45. Um, yes and no. I think me and Mac have got to the point where we don't want to do too much in an episode. One, because we need to try and squeeze in two recording sessions a week. And also, we need time to edit, upload, render, and get them ready for being pushed out. So, if you, I think what we found is if we're doing a 45 minute episode that's edited, finished, you've probably got about an hour and 10 minutes of actual footage of recording mm -hmm. before you even start editing. Probably more. Would you agree, Mel? Probably more than that, actually. I think one of our longest episodes, I think, was really certain one of our longest episodes was like an hour and 30 yeah. minutes, wasn't it, that we recorded? Uh, well, no, what was the one when we did, uh, oh, we did, what did we do? And it was, we were into like two hours of recording, one of them. Yeah, I think we probably were. Problem is that it takes so much longer to edit up. Yeah. And time is not always, but I mean, I still think most people enjoy... 25 to 35 minute episodes yeah I mean that that's one well. of the things I found you know when I was doing the No Man's Land and the episodes were getting longer and longer and, and I always sort of aimed at doing them like 30 to 40 minutes max and I was getting I was struggling to get them like under 50 minutes and I would sort of say that and people I think oh no but we like the longer episodes and you think yeah but it is only a few of you that like that a lot of people don't like it so sometimes yeah, you kind of got to go with the majority but you know, if there was, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't edit it so it uh, didn't make sense. In effect, I, I would always try and, you know, make it a meaningful edit. Yeah, same. Hmm. Right. So you wouldn't you wouldn't go and do it and go, oh well, I might as well just edit that, snip that all out. Oh, that doesn't make any yeah. sense. Oh well, it'll be all right. It'll make sense to somebody. So forty nine, forty seven. Forty time, I think. Forty four. Okay. So, let's go this way. We're also going to need... Eek! I need 22 grand for a bale wrapper. What do you need that for? With a wind as well. Say so again? Have you not got a baler? I've got a baler. Has you not got a wrapper on I it? I need a wind rower. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Need a wind row. Oh well. Right, let's get the grass cut at least. Hey Daniel, how you doing buddy? Welcome to the live stream. Thank you very much for joining us. And hey Mark, how you doing buddy? Got a few more people coming in now, which is nice. So it's hmm. right, uh, bullfish, no issues. I mean, what do you prefer? Um obviously for us it's just ease of popping out the amount of episodes we do 
and like around life and work commitments as well, which always ends up being fun, would be one way to put it, I suppose. Mm -hmm. I mean, generally, me personally, I I enjoy twenty five to thirty minute episodes. Um, I, I don't mean, mind pushing it, into the forty minute episodes yeah. if we need to, if we get a lot done. But like, there's no point. I don't think in leaving stuff in. Like, if we're leaving an episode with with some weeding being done on a field by cosplay. I just don't see the point in leaving a 20 minute section of that in when we can't do anything. And weeding for us is just mind numbingly boring, in my opinion. Yeah, and often hard to see the weeds. Yeah, so you, you might as well just set cosplay off and doing it. And it's no different to using an AI worker, we just know that cosplay is going to keep to the truffing fields, especially <laughs> on a custom map. So. Yeah. And I also think a little bit of me thinks, well, if Dagwin and Chainsaw's episodes are 25 to 30 minutes, if we're doing one that's double that, when we're kind of doing two episodes in one episode, which is kind of not fair in a way. Yeah, but, you know, I think if you have to look at, like, the start time and the finish time of their episodes, you know, like the in game Very clock. Well. And, and they often, cut a lot. Yeah, often they've cut out quite a bit, so... I don't think we play the game or play the episode uh, much longer than what they do. No, well, I, I mean, they, they, I mean, they I... could do longer episodes if they wanted to. They just don't, do they? I mean, Dag Dagwin often leaves before Chainsaw's finished anyway, so... Yeah, I mean, I think we, we try and get... Yeah, I think we probably... Tr we, we usually, most of our episodes... Some of our episodes at the moment probably a little bit shorter, 25 to 30 minutes, because we've run out of stuff to do yeah. in the episode. So, I mean, we've got a couple of big harvesting episodes coming up soon, so they'll be a bit longer, I would say. Probably. With some more jump cuts and time lapses, so that'll probably be an hour and a half, maybe more playtime, but edited down to like about 40 minutes, I would have thought. That's all I would say it would go. But I'll see how it goes. But obviously, the more time it is, the harder it is to the harder it is to store the recordings. The longer it takes to edit it, the longer it takes to render it, the longer it takes to upload to YouTube, the longer YouTube takes to process your video. Mm. So it's all them kind of things you need to think about. And trying to get it in along with doing everything else in work life. And then one, when one of Et us cetera. ends up going to have to start working shifts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, which is what you've got coming up soon, isn't mm -hmm. it? So that's another thing we need to take in consideration. And we don't... Uh, we don't mind recording ahead. But to be honest with you, after we'd recorded that massive amount ahead before we both went away, I must admit I, got, I felt a little bit burnt out on Corpy. Yeah, and then of course Should when you like come back to it, you think, "Well, what did we do?" Because it, it was almost like two weeks we hadn't played it, and, and you can tell we started the episode and we, we'd forgot what to do, hadn't we? Yeah, you know, it's a bit like we didn't really know how to start the episode again. And... But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the other problem is as well if you like get too far ahead and they decide to finish it, well. <laughs> you know, you've. Uh, what are you going to do with the episode? You can't do your kind of big sell, can you? So. No, that's true. I mean, I know, like, with No Man's Land, I used to record maybe two episodes ahead of them, but I, I would keep the save game, and then if for some reason they they sprung a end of episode, end of series video, I could always go back a few saves and start. So. Yeah, You're I mean, I'm... Can you take the trailer exit, please? Yeah, alright. Uh, let me jump into it. i trying to think where it's got to go to. Um, contracts. Harvesting. Deliver to H&H. &H. It's in the middle, isn't it? With everything else, so... Yeah, I did, I, I did ask Bullfish. It's fine, but yeah, not an issue. So, I think everybody has different... Um, thoughts on what length of episodes they want 
so hmm. and sometimes when you come to recording a series some days you start recording you just think oh, I'm really not feeling this today I don't know I think actually with the like with the copy series I'm like I'm looking forward to it so. I don't mind. I mean, I must admit, by the end of the doing four or five episodes oh, a week yeah. Yeah, to build up what we had, that was getting a bit like. Yeah, and you and, up this month today. and because you know we did that because I was going on holiday, you were going on holiday, but I was only off for like a few days, so I only missed a couple of episodes. You had heaps to record, so I think you know you had loads to edit for when you were away. So for me, it was a bit easier than for you. So you probably did. I think I had five videos that needed to come out while I was away. Plus we had the ones that we needed to come out normally anyway while we were still around, didn't we? Yeah. So, yeah. But we sorted it. We uh, we did do a lot of recording, though. We, we gen I generated a ridiculous amount of usage of space on video files. Yeah, cause I think our game, you know, if we record for an hour, what's that? It's like a 60 gig file. Something like yeah, that, isn't um, it? I, um, 60, uh, yeah, 60 to 80 gig, I think, depending on mine. Mine's about 80, I think. Yeah. I've changed my CQ, CQR rate on that. And then, once it's edited out, it's even bigger, isn't it? Yeah. Which sometimes I think seems mad, because if you think you render a video, you kind of expect yeah, it to. Yeah, but you're kind of upscaling though, aren't you? You're upscaling the audio. Yeah. Yeah, true. You're, you're finishing right. the audio a bit. You're also you're probably doing. You might be doing some post processing with the with the um, colours and bits and bobs. I don't know if I'm at H and H, etc. I, I must be. So. I mean, I'm not getting paid for this. Yeah, so I Bubblefish is just saying in my chat, it's open that, that we'll maybe do our own competition uh, and publish rules for others to follow. I mean, that's not a bad idea. I'd certainly be up for doing something like that. Oh, I mean, you do our own one. Yeah, so instead together, of doing it, yeah, because I have again, to admit, but... yeah, yeah, we'll just we'll just come up with a set of rules. And I mean, I suppose it's a bit like that 200 horsepower challenge a few folk are doing. You know, we'll come up with something and. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, we could do something like that. Because I, I, I don't know what, uh, I don't know what Chainsaw and Dagwin will do next. But I don't think with, I don't think we'll, uh, if Chainsaw and Dag once this this episode is finished, the series is finished. I don't think we'll follow a Chainsaw and Dagwin no, episode again. No, I don't series think so. again. No. I think we'll drop it and we'll do our own and yeah. build our own one. Probably would you? St I'd still do a multiplayer though with quite cooperative. You want to, you you'd want to play it together. Not, not like compete against each other. I mean, that's what we're kind of doing here, I suppose. We're competing against each other. I mean, I think competing against each other on this is is fun because it's a live stream. Yeah. And we have different people joining, and that kind of gets that competitive element and gets you to play how you want to play. But generally, we play pretty similar anyway. Yeah, I suppose we do. Yeah. We we have a laugh when we do it competitive, well, um, you know, together, don't we? We do it. With both of us together, and also it does mean that your recordings, you've got someone to bounce some ideas off. So you don't just feel like you're talking to a wall. Well, that's that's the other thing, yeah. I suppose if we were to play against each other and we're still talking, it kind of it would either get confusing for your own viewers, or, um, well, yeah, pretty, yeah, you just don't really know what you're doing, do you? So you can't really communicate with each other. There's no point. Did you drop that trailer down the other end of the field, please? Uh, the other end. Where are you at? Uh, uh, yeah, where, I, where I'm at. Uh, I don't know. Just oh. the other side of the uh, yeah. UTAs. Oops, he's gone very quiet recently. I wonder what he's doing. No, I was just listening and knocking out FERT contracts. Thank okay. I mean, I, I, I enjoy the um, cooperative side of it, personally. Um, I think uh, if you guys... More. Co-op thing, um, and you release the the rules and stuff. 
I think that'd be really good because us guys on Discord will just use some course play and stuff um, to make up for the fact that we're probably playing on our own. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'd 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 go for that. Yeah, so we we could kind of make a set of rules where you can play with somebody, but you wouldn't be at a loss if you had to use course play. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and also if you are playing with that, then you'd probably up the amount of AI workers you could use. Yeah. If you're using AI, you know what I mean? You could say, well, you can't use any more than two, but if you're playing a single player game and not with someone else, you can use three. What about doing yeah, a, at the same a, time? a lease only challenge? Could do. Lease only. Yeah, so you're not allowed to buy any equipment, you've just got to lease it. Uh, oh, this would be quite fun because the amount of money that because some people would go absolutely mental and spaff thousands a week a day, wouldn't they, on the biggest bit of kit, and go, I can't afford that. That'd be quite that'd be quite an interesting idea, actually, wouldn't it? Mm, we'll have to have a think about it. See see how it works. So, uh, Bubblefish also. If the rules set has a unique name and spectators can find the other competitors on YouTube, yeah, I mean, I th yeah, we, I mean, we'd, yeah, we'd, we we try and find. Well, that that one's an interesting one because you you try and do it, or you might try and get other content creators involved. So we'd probably see if Marty wants to do it again. Marty grows. Yeah, because that'd be interesting. We could probably see if. If AFT ever came back to doing YouTube again, we could probably ask AFT, couldn't yeah. we? Maybe iFarmer um, Steve. Um, yeah, you can see if iFarmer Steve wants to do something like that, etc. So, yeah, it's it's definitely a way round. I mean, we could build up a similar thing to what Matey's done with the 200 horsepower challenge, couldn't we? Yeah. Not a bad idea. Okay, it's definitely so something to look into. I mean, it's not, not something I've got time... Oh, I don't think Mount's probably got any time to do it at the moment. No, no, we'll, 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 we'll do it. Up, do it. I, but... think, I think that's what Bubba is saying. After Corp is finished, do something like that. So, Yeah, all right then. I, I think I think we'll have, we'll have a think about it. And see what You've got to find with. the right map, well, haven't you? Well, eh? Well, there's been a couple of good survival maps out, to be honest with you. That new one that I reviewed a few weeks ago, that I actually thought was a really good survival map. So... But interesting though, I mean, look at Matey, um, who did, who's, who's done um, No Man's Land. He Oxygen updated that the other week. He did, yeah. No, it wasn't Oxygen, it was um, Alien Jim. Alien Jim. Oh, yeah. Alien Jim, sorry, yeah. He, he updated that. So. So what's been updated? If on he's it? updated it, uh, he's put the DLC crops in. Right, okay. So he's probably going to do that with um, Western Wilds. Right. Which might be quite good but if he is back then he might produce another pretty good survival map you know map a bit like nml yeah because he does make good maps oh he does yeah definitely so, would you challenge on a survival map again then i don't know i think you'd, i think you could probably challenge on a normal map mm. <laughs> But, you know, it's a bit like the reason I think this map works so well is because you've got two sides that are identical. So if you want a challenge, yeah, you yeah. kind of want to have it fair. Um, and I don't think you can do that with just a normal, normal map. I think you need to have either nothing there at all and you create your own or, you know, you have like a map like this where it's just two identical sides. Yeah. Again, though, no, playing it because if you're doing like um, uh, like somebody did a um, Asada challenge with dairy and a few other bits, you know, everybody's playing on the same map. Everybody's starting in the same area with the same kit. I think it depends if you do it as a survival a survival challenge, doesn't it? Hmm. If you did it at least only challenge, then the whole point is if you pick the map, you can have a normal map and just say, well, you've got to lease everything. Well, that's so um, Attingham Farm. You start with all leased stuff on that. 
I'm not doing Attican Park. It's a terrible map, sorry. So it is a terrible map. How are you doing, MG Edits? How's it going? It's all right. I don't like it. Just never got cool. into it. So. Hmm. I mean, if anyone anyone uh, is listening has got any ideas for maps we could use, maybe. Or, yeah. or even if, even if anyone or, or sets of rules, what you'd like to see in the rules, I think that would be um, interesting. I have to have a think about this lease only. It might have legs. It might have legs. Might be quite a good idea. Might be something a little bit different. I mean, it's... Yeah. I mean, it does mean that you can, you know, you can use the bigger equipment and and stuff like that from early on, can't you? You're not building up, so it does leave a lot more open to you. <clears throat> well, it depends on what sort of play style you want to do. Yeah. Well, what I'd like is not not piling up perishable, so that it all sold at one time a year. If you, if you have perishables, you have to sell them straight away. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. So if you had like lettuce and tomatoes, etc., you can't keep stuff? You, you can't just pile it up till the price is the best. You have to sell it yeah. or it rots and you, you lose what you put into it. Makes sense. It might... Uh, uh, yeah, okay. There not, is not something sure that might go in. That, but... it, there is something I spotted, actually, um, yesterday on King's Mods. There's a new mod that's been written that I need to look into. It's actually dynamic field yields and it's based on a random number generator. Right. So it's kind of bringing in some of the stuff from the Seasons mod. So obviously it goes on top of the base game um, normal that you get. So it's, you got 100% normally. If you have a bad year, like the, the number generator thinks you're going to have a bad year for some random reason, I won't tell you why, it'll then reduce your yield down to like 80%. But you don't okay. know that until you start harvesting. So it adds a bit of a layer of... adds a bit of a layer of mystery to it. So would we also want to make it so it's console player friendly? No. <laughs> no. The reason I say no is because it would re massively restrict the mods. I mean, when me and Pugsley played on Asada together, yeah, and quite a few maps, you'd be surprised how much that really does, um, All like that. completely screw you over for, for 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 equipment. You'd be looking through like for like bailers and stuff or right. uh, trailers and stuff like that, and you'd just be like, can't do it, can't do it, can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. Okay, it's. You could, but I mean, it kind of says a lot when Disturbed Simulations took his console-only, uh, like, PC player tries console and it could only do it for like 20 episodes and went, I can't do this anymore. Right. It just makes the game nearly unplayable. Yeah. So he just, he moves it straight back onto PC. So... Trailer needs empty again if you've got a second, please. Yeah, I can do. Um, I can actually just... Oh, I need to take this trailer back to empty this fertilizer, but yeah. I think it'd be an interesting idea to open it up to the community and ask to see what they see yeah. what they think as well on both sides. The reality yeah. is, on most things, a console player might be able to play along to the rule set anyway. It's just that they're going to be hampered, not you. So, you know, console player can play, but yeah. they're not going to force play. Because that doesn't exist on there. Whoa, that's uh, a bit heavy. Uh, that's like a fair point, Mark. So that wouldn't for them. Looks like Mark Cotty's found the dynamic field yield mod as well. He right. says it needs a little bit of tweaking, but it can give a bonus of up to two and a half, two and a half times, which I think is a bit high. I suppose you could always change the yeah. code. Yeah, you could do. But I don't know. It was, it was just some no, thanks the other day. Thanks thought, very oh, much for that, MG. Sorry, yeah, I'm just, them. just replying to a chat here. Yeah. Mm. It's yeah, worth a worth a thought. Yeah, so. I suppose we, if we start think, I mean, say, well, we're probably halfway through the Corby series now, so 
Um, I mean, it all um, depends. He, if... he might, he might go seventy episodes. I mean, he's, he's gone fifty episodes for comeback. Dagwin has. Right. Okay. Uh, because I mean, the, the other thing about it is, if if there is another version of the game coming out, they're not going to be likely to run sort of sixty episodes, which would be another uh, sort of almost twenty weeks. You know, knocking on half a year, and then because they pretty much started the next series right after the last one. Oh, two week break, right? Yeah, so they're not gonna they're not gonna end this one and then go straight into another and then find out that a new version of the game comes out. So you, you might find that they'll run with this for uh, maybe a bit longer, but um, I mean, they haven't really grown massively quick, have they? No, they have not, have they? I mean, I think once so, I think this I think this carpentry shop uh, will probably turn them around a little bit. So. You know, once once that starts producing and they can sell the furniture, I think you'll see a massive change. But they've they've missed a trick without not not doing a sawmill, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could say that. Yeah. You want another another contract, Pugsley? Uh, yeah, I've just got to finish off field six, but um, for the rules, the shop. But so both she's saying for the rules allow auto load, free landscaping, super strength, and that mod for doing. Um, I don't know. It's behind the little heart on my screen. I don't know what it says. That Please. mod for doing trees. Oh, trees, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure about super strength, but I, I'm. No, super I'm strength needs to be off. Sorry, I'm totally. Yeah, up, just... I'm totally up for auto load. Um, auto load, yeah. Because um, I'm not dealing with pallets again. Just thingy mod. You're talking about the um, not three surgeon mod. What is it? Chain or the lumberjack, the lumberjack mod. mod. I mean, the lumberjack mod's handy where you can get rid of stumps with your chainsaw. I think that's, I mean, that's handy. Um, yeah, but I don't know. Depend I, see, that, that's all going to be dependent on map, isn't it? If you went on a map and there's not much forestry, yeah. then there's no point in running a lumberjack. So, and if the plots are not set so you've got up forestry to clear to be able to get to your plot, then there's no point, is there? No. Super strength. No, just turn around. I'll strength. unload you on the, on the move. Yeah, okay. Super strength's okay. Yeah, look, the problem with super strength is just a lot of people can do a lot of cheating with like bailing and bales and stuff. Put them on mm. trailers and things like that, which kind of defeats the whole object. I know you can have auto loaders, so you may not, but I don't know. Super strength needs to be there for if you've messed something up big style. But if you're on PC, you just have the easy dev tools, aren't you? Yeah. Or you're going to have the power tools, whichever one you like more. So, yeah. It'd be worth looking into to create our own series with um, some rules on. Hmm. Perhaps a, uh, a Discord channel for suggestions? Yeah, yeah, I can obviously also you guys. Can put a vote out on the Discord channel now because it's a new feature to put in, so you don't have to have a bot to do votes. Right, okay. So we could, we could do that, build up a bit of a thing, a Discord channel, and then put some votes up for people to put down what they think as an idea. This trailer's really quite small, isn't it? Actually, a bigger grass field than I thought. Oh well. Uh, how much is that last contract for, Pugsley? Uh, nine grand, just under ten. Okay, that's not too bad. Cause that might just give me enough to get a win <laughs> And then I'll be. Then I think I'm going to have to sell some, uh, sell a load of flour to get enough money to get a rail wrapper. Oh, I could take on one more third contract. Yeah, getting as much as you can, mate. Because uh, contracts, what we got, 
no, can get nothing. that done, then I can get a get a win row going. Because even if I end up leaving leaving the bales on the field when they've been baled, ready to be wrapped, that's not a big problem. Yeah. yeah. So that can always be done next time. Because we'll have a field to harvest next time anyway. Our, one of our fields for barley, I think it is. So. Oh, um. Don't mm -hmm. you have some sorghum to sell? Or soybeans? I. Oh, I do, yeah. Actually, yeah. Oh, when's the peak? the best price. Yeah, we've got. We've got. When's... I forgot about that. Oh. Have we missed it? Be... <laughs> no. Good. I think July's for in... June, July for soybeans, isn't it? We're in June now. Would have been funny if it was May, wouldn't it? But July. So potentially, yeah, I could actually sell the soybeans, good night, to get a cash injection. Yeah. I know it's going to be a hundred pound, a thousand liters off, but um, that's a good point. Well, that. you could sell a few just to get your kit that you yeah. need, and sell the rest that's next what month. I'm well, if you get that contract done that you've got there, yep. I'll then probably take a bit of the soybeans and sell those anyway to get a bit more so I can at least buy a a um, windrow and probably a wrapper. Right, there we go. Got rid of all of them. Um, get back into my... I don't really know how many bells this will create, but it should be oh, pretty good amount, I've got actually. This. Are you full, Alan? Yeah, I was just, just coming down to fetch that. <laughs> I bet. Miss that bit. So the other thing we've got is a load of soybeans to sell. Not the best price this month, though, Mark. I will, I will be friendly and tell you that. Yeah, I've just had a look at that. Um... About 100 off, isn't it? Yeah, but is that really that bad? I mean... Um, I think if you need a cash injection, I think it's not bad at all, is it? No, I mean, so... They are 100 off, and I've got 80,000 litres, so... That's 100... Oh, 80 times... 100 pounds, so 8,000. Isn't it? Is that yeah. how much I'm going to lose? Bed drop. Yeah. Yeah, that is quite a lot of money, actually, when you think about it that way. It's a fair drop, though, if you're dropping eight grand over that. Hmm. I think I'll have enough from the contract to buy a windrower, and then I'll I'll sell the soybeans next month, and then buy the wrapper, and give myself a job with the wrapper in the bales. It's the mower I need. That's my problem at the moment. I need a oh, mower. Have you not got a mower? No. Well, I've got a front oh, mower. I haven't got a... Oh, I've got a... Oh, I've got a rear mower. I went the other way around. How will our silage bales do it? You what, sorry, Alan? How will our silage bales do it? Yeah, I was just going to check on them as well. So, I'll, I'll get this trailer as full as we can, and I'll go and sell it then. But those silage bales right. are going to go to the BGA, so they're not going to be instant profit. Oh, right, yeah. Ninety-three percent. That'll be about a good time, Pugsy, in a minute, mate. Yeah, nearly there. That'll be good actually, because that'll then give me enough, I think, to buy a wind row. So get them. All right, I'll get some rows created. Sell this lot. Sweet. It's been a, it's been a, uh, a pretty relaxed mm. bit of uh, farming tonight, guys, hasn't it, I think? It's been alright, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah, it's been nice, actually. Not uh, been too panicked with anything, have we? Got on quite nicely with everything. Been quite a good arrangement of contracts, actually, for once, isn't it, Mal? I think. <laughs> well, I've done, a, I've done a lot of fertilising. So yeah, we have as well, but then, you know, what can you do? You need to, don't you? Cause yeah, yeah, you do. Need to have something to do, don't you? And especially with two or three people on a on a game. But I mean, I think we've what probably one more episode of this, and you'll probably. Oh, thank you. We'll both have a pretty good amount of equipment then for our farms, won't we? Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I, I'm really just... I just need a mower. I'm going to get a mower that has... Um, swathing on. Swathing on it, yeah, so... Then I don't, oh, need, I don't need a wind rower. It would oh. basically be a lot of power, though. They well, do. I've got the McCormick, and it's got heaps, so... I think the mowers need about 300 tonne if you go up front and back. Wow. Well, what's my McCormick got? They've got like 250. Yeah, but I don't, right, I don't think, I don't think you need that kind of horsepower. Well, I don't think, I don't think, yeah, I don't think it, do, you, I, yeah, I I think think it, it adds up. Depends. I, I don't know. So, I think Dad would try it with a JCB 4000 series, and that that wouldn't even move. Right. I think it does depend on the the mower you're using. I think some of them are a bit sporadic. To be honest with you, um, but I always try and make them so they kind of work out ish as best you can. I can't believe I've still got to deliver fun. barley. That's. Uh... You Can't be far off it. No, that's not working. Ah. Okay, what is it? One more for contract to do. Nicely done, sir. Nicely done. Right, I'm going to go and buy a wind rower then. Buy my favourite one. Buy the smash. How much one. money are you making like on one? Uh... I, I do like that smash wind rower. It's a good wind rower. I think it's a good horsepower. It works really well. It's got a good width. So I need, se yeah, I need 75 work. grand for an overcat. That's what I mean. 75 grand's a lot of money, mate. Uh, it is, but it's then it's only one job, isn't it? Mm, yeah, I mean, what's the what's the uh, the lovely Pottinger? What does that cost? Uh, sorry, the other the other one. Oh, twenty five grand, eight meters, ten meters. Uh, twenty five plus a uh, da, 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 ten meter wind rower. <laughs> How big is the smash windrow? Eight point four. You know, you're looking at forty. Oh, you're fields. looking at forty grand for a ten meter windrower. So you're at sixty five grand anyway for a mower and a windrower. So another ten grand, and you've got one job done. I haven't this got a whole for that. Don't have a complete. I, I don't. I don't have horsepower. My top tractor is. Where the hell's Alan's got horsepower in it? The bread was filled. Oh god, yeah. Uh, Couldn't see you blended in with like the trees. Nowhere close. I'm running around in the Johnny Pop 7810. Beautiful tractor. Do like the 7810. It's a great little tractor. It's not a bad motor that. Oh, it's a good little, good little tractor now, I think. I'll go and have a check on these bales. Going for the built-in windrow is a good idea. I think so, Bubblefish, yeah. Ooh, 97%, 96%. So they're nearly ready. So let's get in the Valtra and we'll go and... Smash windrow. Take those. Okay, some good equipment now. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's building up nicely. Oh, yeah, getting there, aren't we? Been quite yeah. lucky with some second hand equipment, though, over the series from the start, I think, mm -hmm. though. Because mm -hmm. both the Arian and this tractor were both second hand. All my tractors are second hand. True. And the field. Oh, nearly out of fur again. Right, so there's no more new contracts popping up now, even if you do the new contracts. 
How you doing, uh, per Olaf Adelson? How you doing, buddy? Ooh, nearly run over the rocks there. Nearly rolled my tractor. <laughs> Hopefully you are well, sir. It's Saturday evening. Appreciate you uh, joining us. Crikey. Three, 3,640 quid fertiliser costs. Are you sure them contracts actually make you money? They do make money. They've made good money. It's just I've had to buy for as well. Yeah, I mean, I've just made... I mean, I'm on... Well, I've made 20 grand over these two sort of months just from doing pretty much fertilising contracts. And to be fair, weeding. you're going to have... You're going to have fert left over on that. I've maybe bought one bag too many there. I trust you. I must admit, it doesn't seem as lucrative as it normally is. I don't know why. I wonder whether it's a combination of precision farming and then ferting on fields you don't own. Yeah, yeah but probably. The other day, I was doing fertilizer contracts and using like next to no fertilizer. Mm. Last last time we played this, and I, I just. Oh no, was it Fen Edge? It was Fen Edge where I was hardly using any. Well, Fen Edge for liming is horrendous. Maybe it's this uh, dodgy spreader I've got. Ah, this one mm. doesn't do what I thought it was going to do. I don't know. When, um, when you've done that one, mate, if you want to um, get the bay on the back of your class put in, then. Can we do a bit of begging for me, please? Sure thing. Thank you very much. There'll be a couple of uh, swaths done by then. I'm going to do straight down swaths. I'm not going to do a headland. Lovely. Because I think if you do headlands with swathing, it just can make a bit of an arse ache. Yeah. And the field at the end is um, got nothing in it. It was the sugar beet field that we did, but it doesn't seem to have been sorted, so. Right. Right, so that's those bales ready for when they get fermented. They'll drop straight into the BGA. I'm hoping there's some, been some sugar beet put in so I can put some sugar beet through the cutter again and put it into the BGA. That would be nice. That did, that did earn us a little bit of money, I must admit. Do we still have lazy farmers um, put in? Yes. Yeah, lazy farmers are still on. So, how are you getting on with your harvesting contract, Alan? Pretty much done. That's got a uh, last little bit to do and then the last trailer full to deliver. Is it a good contract, that one, Mel? Money wise? Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. I, I don't know how much barley we're going to make out of it. So, okay. um, I will let you know. But I have a feeling I'm literally going to tip like less than a thousand litres into the cell point and the rest is going to be mine. That's good then. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It just crashed. Just dinged the bale trailer. Are you crashing the drink? Is no. I don't go in the water. No splosh required. Who would do such a thing? Who, who would go in the me. water? Me. And who wouldn't <laughs> learn from it? Who wouldn't learn from their mistakes? Well, I didn't do it at the same time on the next episode. The same thing, did I? Didn't want the same action, remember? Have you uh, have you got a little uh, bit of pre-roll for your episode? I haven't, no. Oh. No, I haven't either. I haven't done that this time, no. <laughs> I've updated the scoreboard, of course, obviously. Of course you have. <laughs> do we, I'll see what we need to do, you know? We need to put that custom sign mod in. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. And then we can put that Time's in the, file, in the drink. Can't we? Time's in the drink. Yes. Yeah, I think we should do that, you know? Yeah. We need to look into that. We can add that in. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. Chalk it up. Can we also have another board that is uh, amount of crashes and rolling tractors? That would be a 1 0 to mount. <laughs> yeah. Fine. That was cosmic. That I'll was fun. You, that, that really was. 
That was yeah, a pretty but that, early on episode that, well, that one where I'm going down the hill with a trailer full of planks, and honestly, the, the brakes did not work on that Valtra. It was not slowing down. You've been driving a Renault again. And then, like yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought it was actually really cool that it, it, it did that. You know, that's. Uh, how come they can do that kind physics. of? How can they do that kind of physics with a tractor, but they can't work it out with a bloody set of pallets? Well, it's the giant's game engine, mate. What do you expect? Yeah. They expect too much, I think. Sixty percent on that contract, Pugsy. Doing well, buddy. Yeah, knocking it out. Have you not got any? Are you not um, done any topping up of your whiskey tonight, mate? Uh, no, it was a big enough one in the first place. Nice. Yes. You'd be filling that in the morning then. I would think so. Which uh, which whiskey were you having? Uh, I was on Jim Beam tonight. I wasn't on the good stuff. Okay. I had some of that. Uh, high, is it Highland Park? The Dragon. Uh, is it dragon something? Dragon. It's quite spicy. It's quite spicy. spicy. I've um, I've got two roast dinners to mop up the uh, whiskey yes, tomorrow. Yes, you have tomorrow, haven't you? Right. Yes. So I've got nearly seven thousand liters of barley left over on that contract. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That'd be a good amount of flour than going into bread, mate. That would, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, it is barley, so it's not great. But... Mm, true. Conversion is shite on that, isn't it? It would have been better if I'd put it into a chicken pen. But, uh... Are you... Um, which, which which Sunday lunch are you doing first, Pugsley? Are you doing going uh, out in a time one, or are you doing going yeah. around family? No, we are going out for lunch, and then we are going to family for tea. And it's two roast dinners in a day. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. But the funny thing was, so put the stretchy it, pants on. So the best, the best thing was, um, we were playing on Tuesday night on our offline game together, and uh, Pugsy's other half comes in, tells him at about ten o'clock, and his response first was, "Oh, I don't often do that." So I said to him, "Man up and stop being a big woman. Of course, you can handle two roast dinners in a day." Yep, and then her reaction was also, man the fuck up, this is happening. <laughs> Excellent. I, I, don't, yeah. I just don't understand why you would even say no. I mean, I don't know where you're going for the, for the pub meal, so... Uh, that's a good question now, actually. Don't know. I don't know. I'll turn up wherever I'm told to turn up. Um, Ooh, but you've know. still got super speed on. I, I am I've, aware I've still got flight that mode the on. second roast dinner will be of epic proportions. Do you know what it's going to be? Chicken or beef or... Uh, no, no, that one's again, silage. Yeah. Why has that one not gone in? Maybe it He's just got no money, Pugsy. What's going on? That's silage. Where's that one not got Do you know it? what? I think your first spreader... I think... Because this is a mod spreader, isn't it? Yeah, but it's the, precision farming controlled. Yeah, but for the working width... Do they I need think, to go into this? You can't tip them outside. I think the usage is far too high. Bollocks. Okay. The way it's counting down, it's it's using a lot of fur. Uh... So it needs to be sold at some point then. Yeah, and get a proper spreader like um, a Breedle. I knew you were going to say that. Oh dear. Uh, need to wait. Mm. Well. Oh, I haven't got the wait. Uh, what can I use for a weight? Have I got a weight over here? I haven't. Remember, we can you, you use a dagger weight. Yeah, uh, dagger weight. Are you in the Valtra, Alan? Right. Yeah, I'll be the right pig here about uh, fucking this. 
Oh, I'm just going to just sort of right. right. Please don't back. All right, then. Uh, let me the collect way. this contract. Please. Thank you. 5,000. Right. Okay. Um, I need a weight. So I'll. I'm still windy rowing. Come over and grab that weight off you. Where is your bailer? It's in the it's in the other shed closest to the silo, mate. Okay, okay. Where the blue trailer is, right at the back. Ah, uh, I see it. Do do. Right at the back. It's gonna be quite a good amount of bales off this thing. We have to get enough money, I think, even to buy a bale loader as well. On this. Some yeah. point. Yeah, a bale loader. Ones. Oh, it's the K brand. Yes, it is the K brand. K brand. The one brand I absolutely chuffing hate in this game. Not because I don't like the equipment, I think it's great, but how they got away with calling it the K brand for this long and not get chastised for it, I don't really know. Because it's a name. Yeah. I know, but... And how did we go this long without realising it's called the Cockling Jockey? <laughs> Well, that's fine. The cockling jockey's fine. It's not massively offensive, is it, really? I suppose not. The cockling you jockey. just leave that weight for me, please, Alan. Who, like Who doesn't like a cockling jockey? Each to their own, mate. Each to their own. Oh, where am I going? Mm. My God, I can't drive for that. Been with Graham all too long. Can't drive. <laughs> That's harsh. Good fare. Accurate. Mm, debatable. Oh, I've lost my four wheel steering. That's what's. That's why it's. Yeah, I turned it off. It's too twitchy with the uh, mm. Xbox 360 controller. Is Breath that on the bell size? Uh, bell size. Uh, good question. Just be careful with that. Uh, 150, what? please. 150. Yeah, don't do 180 because I I, can't, I won't be able to get a wrapper. No, that's what I was thinking. For the money. So ah! the... Uh oh. <laughs> Are you in the drink? What is it? I tried changing the steering and he went to crab steer. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's an easy thing to do. Anyone can go in a drink. It's not. Uh... <laughs> Are you in the drink? Yeah. It's no big deal. What? Right. So on this series, one nil. God, I've got to reset everything. This is ridiculous. Are you in the drink? Really? No, I'm not in the. Of course, I'm not in the drink. It'd be silly. As if I go in the You're drink. In the drink. It'd be silly. How dare you? <laughs> be silly. That's just re um, crazy talk. It's a good job there's not video evidence. Yeah, I just see it on the screen. It went one way, then the other. Yeah. Oh, I just missed it. Let's go back. <laughs> right, I'm watching this now on your stream. Okay. Mm. So I've looked at the bit little slalom into, into the river. That's two bales already. Jesus. Literally, I couldn't well, like. I, I, I it was like before. it crab steered to the left, and and I and as I pressed it, I thought, oh, this could go wrong. <laughs> and there was literally no coming back from it. You oh. are going to have a few bales. Well, that's good though for me because that's going to get some a good amount of money when they go solid, aren't they? Yes. Mm. That's the whole plan. That's why I did a dedicated grass field. Yeah, I've got a massive grass field to do now as well. Once I can get a mower. Oh, like I'll pay you a th I'll pay you two thousand pound if you cut my grass and windrow it. No, I'm okay. Mm. Though, thank you. Okay. Well, can we get the contract farm to buy some uh, a mower and a windrower and get them to do it? 
What, just because that's what you want? Yeah, because I, I, I want to get my grass cut for £2,000. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bubba Fish, whose side are you on? You can't be saying things like that. Well, what's she said? What's she said? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it should be £10,000. Yeah, thank you, Bubble Fish. Seems like instant karma for admonishing Grain Man. Thank you. Thank you, Bubble Fish. I'll send you a free Grain Man t shirt. There you go. I'll bribe the audiences, the opposite opposition's audience. Oh, this is all silage. This is great. Making loads of money. I thought you could. I thought you could tip outside of the BGA. Tip bales outside there. Oh, what a what a traitor! Bubblefish is a right oh, traitor. Thanks, thanks Bubblefish. I like Grey Man. I like you too, V. Thank you very much. Get a room, Massively you two. Appreciate. Get a room. <laughs> oh God, he's such a child, man. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm a bit behind the stream now, so I'm just watching your stream now. I think I'm getting to the point where we're about to go crashing into the river, I'm hoping. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Splash. Swish, splash. I was <laughs> taking a bath. All upon a Saturday night. Yeah, that's the one. I'm trying to work out where he does it. Where am I at right now? You're just going with the lid and past all the trees onto the main road again. Uh, going towards your farm. Really? I don't know when that is. Yeah. Because I, I was leaving the farm. Back. I was leaving the farm when I did it. I just picked the weight up on the... Uh. Yeah, you're on that bit now, so you're about to leave, I think, in a minute. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you're just picking the weight up now. Right, okay. I can't drive and watch the live stream. It's not going very How are you, Nate? You done too? How are you doing? Thanks for joining us. Oh, God, I should have filled this up with fuel while I was getting reset. How come it, I reset it and didn't give me a full tank of fuel? What's that all about? That would just be a complete and utter thingy, wouldn't it? That would be a complete game cheat. It'd be fine. I sound like Dagwin trying to make everything really easy. <gasps> How dare you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's wait for this. Oh, God. oh what a splash. <laughs> he just drove it straight in this. <laughs> yeah, so crab, ste crab steered left and crab steered right. And I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> Soon as I did it, I thought, this is. Absolutely no braking there, was there? No? That was, oh, sod it. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm a bit oh. wet there, United. Um, I've it's your finick. Apparently, some people have saying it's karma. I believe it might be as well. Thank you, Bubblefish. I think that is just calm, you see. Jesus. That was pretty that was pretty epic, mate, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. But but did you notice if you go back and zoom in on the tractor, have you seen my fantastic number plate? Uh no. Okay. I haven't. Hmm. I would take a closer look. I shall need decent contracts. No. no. Right. Yeah, that's gonna be a few bales. Just a few. Not really any quick way of me making a load of money actually, is there at the moment? Uh short of selling some sorghum. Uh soybeans. Soybeans. Are, are you on with anything at the moment, Alan, or not? Yeah, I've taken a fertilizer contract on 35. All oh, right, spot on. Or or flower. You're a great man. Some amazing contact. Keep it going. Oh, thanks very much. That's uh, really kind of you. We do. We definitely have a good time making content. 
Who, who, who's who's that? United on well, tour in my comments. Oh well, thank you very much, United on tour, buddy. So uh, feel free to jump onto uh, the Grey Man live stream as well. You know, you're more than welcome. Hint, hint. Famous <laughs> <laughs> plug. I'm sorry. I'm good at these days. Um, hey, I'm good at the old announcer thing. You are. You, you, you never shut up. <laughs> well, yeah, I did get told that when I was at school. And I school. didn't. I didn't talk as a kid. I didn't talk for years. I was like my sister used to um, make all the decisions for me because <laughs> I just I wouldn't talk. <laughs> yeah, I don't work in my house. I think that's why my other half goes to work and bosses Pugsy about. Somebody's going. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think... Well, I didn't I, want to say anything. I think I'm just going to go and do it. I'm just going to sell a few soybeans. Why not? Well, it won't sell it anyway, doesn't it? Uh, well, next month is probably better, but, you know... I'm going to lose about eight grand by selling them this month. I'm going right. to sell some as well, I think. Just to get rid of a money boost. Yeah. Oh, come back, come back. Why won't you. Get a bit of a mini boost up? in so I can buy a wrapper, I think. Why won't you fill up? What's going on? I mean, it doesn't help that I'm you just... Do it on the trailer? Hmm. I think I'm underneath the spout. Oh, there we go. It's worked this time. Oh, I just use your that, you see. Soybeans. Look at it go. So, how much are soybeans worth at the moment? Two, two, two. Mm, two, two. At South, two, one. At South and Valley. And they two, 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 one, nine, eight. Two one nine eight. So I think they'll hit two. They'll hit two two. Right, okay. In the next hour, I say. So let's go and find this place. Good shout. Actually, I don't even know where it is either. Oh, this is going to go well, isn't it? With my driving. Oh, I'm not going to put it in that shed. I'm going to put it over here. There's a fair bit of wrapping required. Okay, day. So, which grain trailer have you got? Me? Mm. I've got a single Rudolph. No, the one you hate? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Hello, United on tour. Welcome to the Grain Man live stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a fixed. Uh, um, Draw about that, hasn't it? Yeah, it's not a dolly, mate. Jesus Christ, what do you think I am? Sadistic and completely <laughs> utterly retarded. Jesus Christ. You know, uh, the other day I said to you if I ever did that thing, you'd have to run me over in your tractor. Yes. Pretty much the same with this. Fair enough. I've got the engine warm, don't worry. <laughs> it's always ready. Yep. What is my what is my PF score? Um, you need to go into the field and reset and just do it again, and it'll probably come up. Fifty three. Like. How can it only be fifty three? What's that all about? What's mine then? So I'm just tipping these on the ground then. Really? Mine's 82. Well, where the hell, what the hell's going on with mine? I don't know. Why can mine be so bad? I'm not on your farm, bud. Sorry. Too many ploughing contracts. Uh, Marco, i just seen that on the plate. <laughs> don't know what you're on about. What is your... What is your number plate? Ah, uh, forgotten. <laughs> so my my nitrogen's at zero. Why would that be at zero? Well, 
because you're not very good at like uh, farming. I think it's saying my grass is pretty bad, but mm, well, I'm not. <clears throat> you know, he's bad farmers with his PF stuff. Mm -hmm. Right, so if I do one more uh, trailer load of soybeans, I can get my the mowers I want. So, hey dude, how you doing buddy? So how much Hopefully horsepower okay, do I have here? Not much. 286. That's gonna, how can that not run front rear mowers? 286 horsepower, absolutely fine. <clears throat> So where is the best place to sell soybeans? Ah oh, yeah, it's at 2-2 now, South Valley. So where is South Valley? Any ideas? Well, if you stick the, you have to stick the um, thing on, the, ta the tag oh, the place, oh, otherwise yeah. you won't find it. And you are tipping it on the ground. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, uh, wait, but is it on the central island? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. If you're coming from like my side of the map, you know you go past the two contracting tractors and you turn right yes. in there and it's, it's literally just in front of you. Right, okay. I'm copy. Yeah, I know you seen so for me it'll be further in past the petrol station turn left. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I know what you mean. Well, glad to hear you're okay then, dude. Um, how was your skiing trip? Oh, that's right. Week? It was a way skiing, yeah. Did you break any arms and legs? Hopefully not, sir. Did you get good at skiing? There's a question. Not something I've ever tried doing, actually, skiing. Yeah, I've done it. Did you break any arms and legs? No, but there was a girl who was on our skiing. Was she on ours or was she on someone else's? It's yeah. <laughs> and she... Uh, you, we were just up on one of the slopes and you just heard this instructor shouting plow 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 <laughs> and she went clattering through all the fences and on the way on the, on the way home on the plane she was she had her leg in a cast so, uh. oh really <laughs> yeah oh poor girl oh, Jesus. oh what a clatter were you she offering took. to give her a hand uh no uh but i mean i was with my girlfriend at the time so Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, a bit awkward. A bit awkward. <laughs> but like, I probably couldn't have. I was, I was strapped to some skis. There was no way I was giving her a hand. <laughs> so I was doing my best job just to stay upright. <laughs> and like, you know, we sort of did all. We had this instructor. We'd, we'd never skied before, and we just, we were just in Finland, and we just thought, right, let's do this, um, and. You're sort of like on the training slopes, they were dead easy. And then they took us up to this, like, sort of the bottom of this other slope just to, to get some different terrain. And we're like, Yeah, yeah, we're pretty confident. And the guy says, Yeah, I think you'll be great. You go on this slope, it, it'd be fine for you. You'll do all right. We got off the ski lift, and the first bit was like, it was just a sheer drop, and it was all ice. <laughs> well, like, my girlfriend, she, she decided she wasn't going to do it. and they had to stop the chairlift so she could get on it to go back down. Um, wow. And I'm like, well, there's no way I'm doing that. <laughs> and I think it took me about two hours to get down this slope. I think they were, they were all quite worried that, you know, I'd hurt myself somewhere. Yeah, but, yeah. I think we'll be all right for a bell wrapper. It should be. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm just going to go and buy myself a nice mower. Um... Where is it at? Nova Cat. Ooh, I'm going to go for a Vicon instead of a Cavernaland. Oof. Uh, yeah, let's just have that. 160 Good horsepower. Thing. And I have a Cavernaland, I think. Well, that's, that's really helped. Like, yeah. Ridiculous. Thanks, Mal. No problem. Oh, um, no. Oh, no. <laughs> 
That's, uh, that's really not good, actually. That's really bad. Why? Right, so the... I'm going to have to change that. I'm going to have to change the mods on this. So you know the... That lizard... Uh, T127 and T1 and T127 Plus fail trailers. Yeah. We're running, but this is the mod hub version that we're running on Corpy. Right. They only do 125 centimeter bells. Oh dear. I, I, could, I, could, I could hear the. There was absolutely no thingy there, was there? No sympathy. No. I don't there care. was no sympathy there whatsoever. Well, why don't you just get the Why don't you just get the proper one? I will do it at fifty grand, but I'm not going to do it today. This time, I don't think. Just sell some more soybeans. You'll be fine. No, I don't want to. Cause I've still got sixty grand worth of soy, sixty thousand liters of soybeans left. Oh, two, two, I don't think I've got that much. I think I've just done two trailer loads. So I don't know. Uh, I might do that again. I might. I might do that because it's it's twenty quid off. Oh, Top no. sale price. Is that what it so is yeah, now? I'll do that. Oh right, yeah. I yeah, it's well twenty quid off. It's two two thousand two hundred and six, and it's two thousand two hundred and twenty six. I might as well get rid of all mine then. Yeah, I might do mine now. Pugsy, if you've done all the bailing, but there's a wrapper at the shop, sir. Okay, okay. Well, I've if got, that's okay. I've got one more breed to do, and then I'll be there. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go sell some more soybeans. I think I might as well. Hmm. Yeah. That'll set set us up nicely for the next episode. Yeah. I think then it'll be good. That'll be a good episode to run then. I think. Here's a, a question for both sides of the uh, live stream. What does everybody think to the content creator, either me or Mount, running some? low level background music during the live stream you're welcome thank you bubble fish it looks lovely i'll be happy to hey davies farming how you doing buddy thanks very much for joining us, mate. don't worry if you're late you know life gets in the way sometimes but it's nice of you to join us but yeah i just wonder if anybody thinks it's a good idea to have some very low level background music running or not yeah why not uh, going out onto the stream or um, yeah, you know, no, going out on the stream because you can do it through Spotify and other bits and bobs. You're allowed to yeah. do some license-free streaming music. There's quite a few playlists out there, isn't there? I think there's also ones on Epidemic Sound as well. Yeah, I generally I've run. Well, I, I tried to set it up for my starting screen, didn't I? But ugh, I was having issues. So the only thing I could do is look at like a. Um, I was thinking about doing this, so looking for a playlist on on Epidemic Sound and then finding all that music on Spotify and creating a playlist and then doing it that way. Very good answer from Bubblefish. What's that? on your stream. He said, no thank you to background music, I can do that myself. Oh, there That's you go. It's a fair point. Yeah. See, I think if yeah. you're just doing like a just when you see on Twitch people do those just chatting streams and there's like some music going in the background that's fair enough but I suppose if you especially if there's a lot of chatter going on you know maybe it's not the best I mean, we, thing we, we generally chat them all the time don't we don't have an awful lot of time well, we're not chatting yeah. about stuff and yeah you never should it's not too bad yeah so. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It wouldn't be a very good stream though if I did shut up, would it? No, no, it wouldn't. To be fair, I'm I'm not the most talkative person, so you're better on copy than you used to be. Yeah, I suppose I am. Well, you you give me the opportunity to take the piss, so why not? <laughs> I love you too. Well, it's easy to take the piss when people fall in the drink. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It is when they, they you know, can't even control their own tractor with crab steering. <laughs> Tell you, these people. They don't know. They've had, run the tractor for the last what? Eight, eight, nine episodes now. So, a couple of hours each episode. You'd have thought. Eight you got episodes. You'd, you'd sixteen. You you probably got at least sixteen, seventeen hours in that uh, tractor, Mel. I'm quite surprised you didn't know about crab steering, mate. Well, I knew about it. I just um He got all fingers and thumbs. 
Yeah, it kind of took me for surprise how quickly it turned to the left. I was kind of expecting it to go straight, but at an angle, but it didn't. It just turned left and then turned right, and then I was in the water. So. But it's not like the tractor was in alignment and, and operating absolutely perfectly, and I just drove into the river. Uh, my tractor was... Stop it. Not fishing you. He hooked a big one. He did, he was pretty good there, wasn't he? Yep. So what is Sit my... Back. I'll get him back. What is my... Um... My PS3, good actually, I made four grand out of that trade just on PS. Right, mine's utterly terrible. Well, it's the farmer, you see. Yeah, it's actually bubble fish. That's one of the hardest things at the moment. He's trying to find music for videos. It's um, yes and no. I've yeah. kind of find I've I've can't, I've found Sven Carlson on. Yeah, I've done. I've done a lot of Sven Carlson recently. Uh, who was the other one? Ken, answer, someone sort of. Ken Ken someone as well. I think Ken Lee. No, Ken Lee. Ken Lee. Uh, yes, he did it. Good lad. Good lad. <laughs> Good lad, what a setup! Right, what right. a setup! Thank you, buddy. You didn't let me down on that one, did you? You are welcome. Uh, Davies Farmers is asking everybody on the live stream, "How are we all?" So, how are we all, boys? We're all good. We're all good. Yeah, we're good. good. Yeah. So positive, positive on that one, Davies Farmers. Appreciate you asking, though, buddy. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Very nice of you to ask and join us, though. Yeah, I think we're having a very good, relaxed live stream this evening, I must admit. We are missing Red Dog, though, but he's not very well this week. So hopefully he is better for next week's live stream, which will be back on Fen Edge, I believe. It will. So, but it will be an open live stream is again. It, is it going to be... Uh, Fen is it Fen Edge Friday? Fen Edge Friday. I don't oh. know. I find Saturdays a bit easier. I, I, it doesn't really matter to me what day of the week it is. I think it will be Saturday actually because Friday I, evening I'm out. You've just got no commitment to this. You could just, could just make your Saturday live stream day. Yeah, but uh, Fenage have... Saturday doesn't sound as good as Fenage Friday, does it? Yeah, there is that. What about streaming, streaming Saturday? Mm. Well, whatever it will be, it will be. There yeah, we well. go. How's that? I mean, what do people prefer? Because do, do, do people go out on a Saturday night and, you know, does that cause an issue or...? Do people who play Farming Simulator go out? That's a good point. Never thought about that. I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm not I'm not tiring everybody with that brush, okay? So, <laughs> but. I apologise to people. <laughs> but. Um, if I am incorrect. Oops. Oh, Pugsley! What's Pugsley no, done? No. No. He put nothing. himself in the drink. Nothing. Have you? Have you got crabs, do you? Nothing. <laughs> nothing happened. Run over me. You've also run over me field. Have I? Yeah, you put some destruction <laughs> in my field. How dare you? Only in the corner. God, your farmers are rubbish. I'm glad Pugs is not on my team. I um, I got distracted That's by harsh, somebody. Pugsley. I got distracted by somebody coming through the room. Sorry. Was it was the other half or was it the, the, the dogs. No, it was the other half. Oh. You had to duck. Was, 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 she, <laughs> was she coming through the room to have a go at you, or was she coming through the room to... Have a go on no. you? She <laughs> she was, you she beckon you to bed. <laughs> she was just saying that she was finished her string, so... Oh, okay. Um, yes, that was all she was saying. Okay, that's fine. What do you mean she's finished her stream? The uh, I'll let Pugsy explain. So, um, the other half here is a singer and has been on oh, okay. TikTok for about four hours. Very good singer, I may add. Hmm. Yes, good set of lungs. Okay. Uh, no, I, I remember you saying about the singing thing. I, I just didn't realise you did streams. But, yeah. yeah. Icky talky. Is it TikTok? Tiki Toki, yeah. 
Look at all this money coming in. Wait. Yeah, I know. I'm at 100 and, 100 and some grand now. What are you at now? 114. There you go. That's. But I've just bought a 75 absolutely. grand mower as well. Jesus. I've just realised the solution to music in the background for your streams. Uh, people just need to have TikTok open on the next screen. Yeah, we should advertise oh. your missus stream. She could she could do that, couldn't she? She could do our music. Yeah. It's not really into the whole uh, country and western style, though, you know. Also, she's not really into the whole us playing farming simulator since sometimes she calls us sad-ass ah. people. Yes. How dare she talk truth like that? Did she get? <laughs> did you get the message the other day, GM, on WhatsApp? No. I am one step towards having uh, not having to use AI workers anymore because she was on Lawnmower Simulator. Was oh, she? Oh yes. Okay. Yeah, which is one step off Farming Simulator when we think about it. It is. Yeah. Is. Is Walmart Simulator any good? Yep. Uh, dog shit. I mean, uh, no. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, I, I played it for a bit. Um, is it as good as Pressure Washer Simulator? I have never seen uh, that she, game in my life. She completed Power Washer Simulator. So when you think about it, she's done Power Wash Simulator. She's done Lawnmower Simulator. She's one step off. I don't really get... Well... Do you want to... Alan, do you want to take this tractor and go and mow that field? Yeah, can Which one? I want. So, the one behind this 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 one over here. Do you just want to go and mow it? And get it all windrowed up. Like, put the uh, the windrower on to it. Uh, the swathing mower. Where's the mowers? Over there. Over Across there. there. Front and rear mowers over there. Yeah. And I'll go and get rid of this last load of soybeans. Round. We want to send the corn as well if you uh, if you keep it out for the bakery. The what? Sorry, say again. The, the corn. Oh yeah. That's uh, but, uh, at South Valley. That's at its its top price to go down. Right, I'll get rid of that corn as well. Then I'll come back for that. And maybe if I sell this, sell that corn. I wonder if we can buy a field. I don't, I don't think need to find another field. I don't I'm think loads. I don't think I need any any more kit now. I've got. Do you think there's any kit that I need, Alan? I've got everything. Bigger trailer would be nice. A bigger grain trailer. Twenty four and a half thousand liter. What is it? Which trailer? My Rudolph. The one with the red nose. Yep. Is it? My, why, is, why is mine only eight? Oh, I've, Mine's only 18. Have you extended yours? You haven't, put the extent you haven't put the extension on. Oh, okay. Well, I'll maybe go and do that now. And give it 24,500 litres then. Okay. There you go, you see? Even though I'm on the opposite team, I'm more than happy to give help and advice. Uh, so, uh, Bugger Fish, I'll, I'll there's this I'll AI call. called Udio that can make music from a prompt. You can give it a theme, a music style, and create a song for you. You can even give it a complete text habit sync. Oh. <laughs> AI is amazing, isn't it? Nothing sure scary. Is. There's only one thing with doing uh, live streams and YouTube videos. Don't ever sign up for uh, voice security systems because um, they'll, people will just use AI to scribble all your information off of YouTube or your videos and be able to use your voice then. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Never thought of it. Never even thought of it. Oh, just crashed into my own silo. Does that mean we need to get like a um, Stephen Hawking's voice, voice simulator? You can put a voice changer mod inside OBS, can't you? I don't know. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, you can do all the, you can do all loads of different voices inside um, OBS before it goes out on your stream. So you just oh, do it as okay. a voice changer. It's like a module that goes in, and then your voice goes into that from your mic feed, and then the output of that goes out to your live stream. Right. 
so what can you what can you change can you like make it sound like somebody else or can you just change like pitch and tone i think you can you can download templates can make it sound like loads of famous hollywood celebrities and stuff get to the tractor so can, sound... can i sound like arnold schwarzenegger yeah. Yeah. yeah you can do i think you can do arnie you can do something like jackson <laughs> get to the tractor bitch <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, there's loads of different ones like that you can do. Uh, do we F know this, where the mechanic trigger F is? You, you know the right the mechanic mechanic trigger. Trigger. Oh, was that it there? No. No. Yeah, how do I get into the garage? Open the shop menu. There we go. Nope, not the shop menu. Oh, it's around the side. Because you don't have your markers on, do you? Yeah, I'm down the side. Between, like in the box hatched area outside those doors yeah yeah I just don't know where the trigger is to enter the sh workshop why don't you just turn your interactive markers oh, on that's far too logical intelligent well that's I try I try I still don't know where it's at oh there it is I was sure I was stood there Okay. Uh, Rudolph, customize. I can make it. No, I can't make mine any bigger. I didn't think you could. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so, which Rudolph have you got? Uh, I don't. Well, oh. you got the same one, one as me, haven't you? I've got the TDK three hundred one RA. Oh, I've got the RP. Oh, you see, I got the R8. Right, okay. Upgraded, upgraded model, whatever RA stands for. Hmm. Really awesome. Rudolph Advanced. Is that mine is? I don't know what that means. Okay. Right, oh well. That's, uh, figured that out. Right, well, I've got quite a lot of money now. How much have you got? Hundred and ninety thousand. Wow. I mean I've got soybeans. I mean I've got a hundred and thirty and um I'm now going back for my corn. But again, I spent seventy five grand on a mower, so Yeah, I'm about to spend fifty grand on a bell loader. So let's go and get this um Which field could I buy? Let me have a look. So I did look at getting one. And I think it was this one here. This 40, uh, field 36. How much is that? 90 grand. I could buy that. Um, was it that one? Or was it this one? No, it wasn't that one. Which one had the really you good... You should make a county fair. The rides and stands are paid though. But some aren't. Is that a mod? Okay. Freddie and friends in my chat have said you can find the rides on Mod Hub. What do you mean? Okay. Find which? I'll have to have a look for that one. Find the what? So perhaps you should make a county fair. The rides and stands are paid though and some aren't. Not quite sure. Not seen that mod before, but okay. Right. Right, we've got a bale loader now, Pugsley. Sweet. You've got a lot of bales to load. Oh, um, some point. Buying a sheet pen, I don't know, what do you think? Um Well have you got any hay? I haven't got any hay. But I could feed them grass to start with. Um I thought you were trying to make silage. I am. Where yeah, Alan's uh Uh you haven't got the swath thing on, Alan. What the hell is what I had one? Hmm? Yeah, the Nova. I didn't know this Nova had one. Oh, have I not? Have I not added it to the thing? Oh, Mount's bought it without the swath there. Oh well. Oops. Next to like forty grand or something, isn't it? Oh, is it? I thought it had it. A standard, right? Doesn't matter. I'll go and get a wind rower. I got loads of cash. Who cares? Uh, best oh, money bag is over there. Best price for corn is at the South Valley. Again. 
Where do you get corn from? I think I did a contract. Oh, okay. And it was what oh, was left over. So. Indeed, convoy. The first thing you could do is get a chicken pen. Because they eat corn, don't they? I don't know. Do chickens yeah. eat corn? Convoy! Mm, don't think they do. There's sorghum. I thought it was I, like, so yeah, sorghum, wheat, wheat barley. Or, or barley. Oh, uh, they're used to in 19, I think. Right, okay. I think, do, um Does corn go into pig pens? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Basically, yeah. It's, it's one of the other... Yeah. Not, not the base one, but it's one of the other ones. Yeah. It might be the protein. Mm, I can't remember. Are you ready, Pugsy? I'm on, I'm on uh, convoy. Oh, well done. Are you wait? Are you? Are you... I, I can't believe I messed that up. Are you still in the field wrapping or not? So oh, I'm still wrapping. Cool, cool. No, there's no option for that. The cross flows. The cross for what? The Nova Cat cross flow. How does that not have? The the big red ones have an option for a swatter, but they're the ones that need about 300 horsepower. I'm pretty certain the Nova Cat Crossflow has uh, a swathing option on it. Yeah, it does. You can see the spirals. Open up your menu and have a look. I'm sure it's there. You'll have, you'll have to select the back mowers. Make sure they're on. But I'm pretty certain the Nova Cat Crossflow has. Yeah, you're right. I had the, I had the front one. Yeah, front. okay. There you go. So, what were you saying there, great man, about me buying the wrong mowers? Okay, I apologise. <laughs> I wasn't... <laughs> yeah, I wasn't... I, I, I thought, I was thinking, I'm sure there's no mod, you just buy them and that's it done. But there you go. I think some of them you can buy, them, some of the mod ones. Yeah, there is, there the is one. The smash ones be bought without. Yeah. Is there a Vicon one or something that has like it's like a massive additional e thing goes on the back? I think so. Mm. Yeah, there's a few bales here, Pugsy. Uh, one or two. Be I mean, nice that when it comes to uh, getting these put into the BGA. I think you'll make your money back for your uh, loader pretty quick. I would say so. As long as I've bought everything I need and I've still got 140 grand. Mm, what to do? Mm, fair point. What? To, oh, it's got the wrong bale in it. But that's the first bale you did, wasn't it? So that's the smaller bale size. Yeah, that was one that was already 90%. Rechambered. Yeah, that's fine. Could have been picked up the first time, so I would have had a whole. Bail wrap, bail stack. Right, so that's that. Uh, let's have a look. Which field am I going to buy? Um, so 42 has a pretty good yield. 41 doesn't. 56 is okay. There was one I thought had a really good yield. Which one was it? It must have been 42. Probably my fields because they're amazing yields. Are they? <laughs> Fully wrapped. Nicely done, sir. Mm, yeah, maybe 42 is the one to get then. Um, what crop have you got in it? Well, oh, that's what I was just going to look at now. Um, I don't think it has one. Is that good or bad though? Because it's not really the time to put a crop in, is it, in Gene? No. Uh, unless it has. Not trying to piss. Not trying to completely piss on your bonfire. Uh, it's all right. Let's put grass in as break crop. I could do. Do what? Sorry. Put grass in. For a break. As a break crop. crop. And then obviously run a season and we'll get a massive amount of grass off it for silage. Mm. Well, I think I'm about to get a load of silage off my other grass field. 
Okay. Uh, so what else have we got? Have we got any that are ready to harvest? That's a. That would be another thing. No. But forty six is close to it. Um, that's just got a hundred percent. So what crop is in forty six? Wheat. Pretty good for the grain mill. Well, yeah, yeah, not bad for the grain mill. Uh, have we got any or, or chickens? Or chickens? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Should we go with forty six then? What the hell? That's got sugar, but you definitely don't want that. That's got cotton. Definitely don't want that. And the rest I can't really afford. Uh, it was forty nine. Pretty I good. Took it. Oh, 50. I took it. Fifty. I might look at the field for me as well. Mm -hmm. Forty five. What's that got in it? Cotton. Right. Okay. Uh, right then. Well, we'll go with. Should we go with this one? It's only ninety three grand. And how far off is it being ready to harvest next month? Let's do it. Let's it's buy that here. One. I can stack it back up again. All right. So that leaves me with forty-six grand. So I could probably afford to get next month get a chicken pen. How much is a big chicken pen? It's a lot of eight, money in it. Yeah, it's 80 grand. <clears throat> but there was that new board that was released, it was about 12 grand and holds 500. Hmm. Bit cheaty. Just get it put in. <laughs> That's what she said. Really? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Good lad. Oh, so you've got anything to do? Uh, I was just putting the... I know what I haven't, I know what I haven't done. Over. In my productions. I haven't do you need me to do one. any? Oh, it's, it's actually... Could you... Oh, I think, could you come down and pick up this Rudolph trail off this field, please? Yeah, sure. Thank you. I'm just glad not that you last load of bales here. It's probably about another 24, so it's 48 bales to put in. BGA yeah. at some point. Be a I good. I suppose my great. next job is just to go and start wrapping these bales up. How much longer are you playing for? Because I'm looking at maybe stopping once I've got this field cleared. Uh, well, just whenever. I mean, I don't even know what time it is. It's ten quarter past eleven. Is it? <laughs> my God. Yeah. Time. I've been to work You're today as well. Aren't you? No, I was work today. I'm not working tomorrow. Oh, okay, so yeah. I was up at five o'clock. I wasn't too far beyond you. I did get back to bed though. Oh right. Oh well, obviously that's no different at all. Then is it? Well, <laughs> getting jumped on the head by a little one. Where are we going today, Daddy? Where are we going today? Going to the cinema. Oh, we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch. We're gonna watch. I'm not telling you. And then it, it so we didn't turn all day. It got to the bit where, you know, when you go to the cinema, and it it puts the rating up, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. On the screen, he shouted out in the whole cinema in front of everyone. Daddy, it's Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> <laughs> what a dummy it is. He's like, this is going to be awesome! Well, that's good then. I'm glad you can enjoy it because it costs enough. Shopping cinema good. ticket. How much is a cinema ticket these days? Uh, local cinema is... It's not too bad actually, like I said. It's 8 quid. 8 50 for adults. And that's, that's pretty good. 20 for kids, I think. 20, went to the 20 Odeon, pound for some popcorn. Oh, easy, yeah. But if you went to the local Odeon, you'd be looking easily £20 a ticket for an adult ticket. Right. Because the Odeons are Indus. We've got a couple of independent ones near us. Yeah. Which are actually pretty good. 
Um, and they've actually got the VIP seats in every single cinema now. Reclining leather sofa seats where you can... Mm. The only problem is when you have a kid, they love the noise that the leather on leather makes. It sounds mm. like the seats are farting. And then they just so, do it. What do, you mean the kid, what do you mean the kids love it? Well, everybody loves it. <laughs> but we added a birthday party there in last year. Right. Where you can hire the whole cinema and yeah. then hire the party room. I don't think any kids actually watch the film. I think they just spend most of the time just going forward, backwards, forward, backwards, forward, backwards, laughing. What do you mean the kids? I was doing that. I know you were. But we did Absolutely. provide free popcorn and drinks. I'm not going to lie, I had a small snooze in the middle of that one. It was a good film though, wasn't it? The Super Mario Brothers film. It was, but I'd watched it a couple of weeks before with the girls already. And I'd had a particularly long week at work, and it was just just the perfect timing. So there was a there was a small 15 minute power nap in the middle. The... I aim to please. I watched uh, I watched Pixels the other day. Have you seen that? No, is that it any good? It's all right. Yeah. Sander and Jonah Hill in it, isn't it? Yeah, it's all right. I was ex I thought it was going to be utter rubbish, but actually, it was all right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, I have one bale to collect, and then I'm done. So. I think on our farm we're about done. So. Yeah, well, Alan's got like a couple of strips left to do with the with the with the uh, mowing. So Sounds good maybe just get that finished. And I say I'm just wrapping bales, but uh, bugs we. Yes. If you're back at the farm, you've got nothing to do. Do you want to have a quick look through the PDA and have a look at fields that have a crop in? Sure. That potentially might be good to buy and then I'll look at the um, PF soil score as well no problem at all let's have a Thank look you obviously not a field that's completely massive but Worth well, a thought. 19 has barley that's ready to harvest now. 19. And that's 59 grand. Well, that's near me, isn't it? It is. Ooh, not bad yield potential either. Or you've got, oh no, it's 170. Feel that it's already yours. Yeah, I think 19 is probably your best bet for a, not a lot of money. Okay. You got quite a lot of. Um, big fields with sugar beet on your side. Right, okay. Go on, get one. Let's do sugar beet harvest. <clears throat> oh, Field 15 and 3. Field number 3, yeah. Or right, yeah. Okay. 5 and 7 further down as well. But yeah, I'd, I'd say 19 is probably your best bet. Five grand, that's cheap, isn't it? Mm. I think it's what you're going to find. Oh, I see it, yeah. Okay, it's not too far from the other two fields either, is it really? Well, there's, oh, there's 24 for 60 grand. That's got some canola. Probably 24, though. it's got loads of forestry with it, isn't it? Yeah. You're getting more okay. forest in the field there. That's got canola in it, isn't it? Yeah. We've got a field 11, I suppose. Field 11, yeah. 139 grand, though. We've got a lot of money. 
It is a lot of dollar, but that's a lot of farmland there. It's a lot of canola you're going to get. Yeah, that's a bit of a nice field then. I, I know where there's a big canola field. <laughs> Expected yield off this field is terrible. Which field's that? The barley field. Oh, really? 59%. Have you finished mowing, Alan? What about the... Yes, I have. Do you want to just grab the eight, bale loader 18? start picking up these bales? Which field? Yeah, you have to get a lease of wind road around the outside. Oh, uh, Field 18. Yeah, okay. I'll collect the bales up first. I can't remember. Are we allowed to lease on this game, are we? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's got, that's got more sandy loam and loam than it has clay. So it has got a bit higher potential. And also, it's got soybeans in it. It's not a bad shout. And all it needs is another round of fertiliser. It's cheap. Cheap. Yeah, I'm going to buy that, I think. To be honest, at those prices, you could, build, you could buy both of them. A lot of fields though, isn't it, then? It is. We'll see, yeah. maybe. We'll, we'll buy this one, still got 90 grand yeah. left in the bank. Sweet. So we've got another soybean field now. That'd be good. Right, I'll spin this round, take it back to left fam. We've got a amount of cash coming in in different places, so that's good. Well, if there's a couple of sugar beet contracts, then we will take one on this year again. Why not? It makes sense. Oh, that's right, you did a sugar opinion. beet contract, didn't you? I remember that. I did with Red Dog, and we ended up having quite a lot left over for the BGA. Yeah. It made me quite a bit of money in the end. Oh, did I? I got well. Where did I get my sugar beet from? Yeah, I took. You I did yours from a sugar beet contract. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That was me and you, Mel. That's right. Yeah. So a bit of harvesting to do next time for me, that's for sure. I've got this for my other field to do. I'm um I've got to go get some dogs in from the garden, so I th oh, think really? I'm gonna pretty much say that's it for me. Alright then. Oh, mate, thank you very much. Good night. Yeah. I will Thanks for coming. Speak to you in the week. Hey, have a No problem. Hopefully at all. you uh, don't eat too much tomorrow. Uh I am going to smash two roast dinners and it's gonna be delicious. Good luck, so, good luck. Catch you Very all good. on the flipsy flop. Yeah. All right, mate. See you later, buddy. See, See ya. you, buddy. Cheers. Bye. 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 Right. Oh, I'm just yeah. heading away, way back to the farm now. So. Okay. You know, we're well, about done if that's all right. Yeah, I mean, we're just we're just bailing up, and um, Alan's collecting bales. So it's not really anything that we couldn't just stop at any time. Sounds good, sir. Sounds good. So, I mean, literally, oh, we've done some good progression on this tonight. We have, we? yeah. We've, we've uh, so, I mean, selling those soybeans has been a massive, yeah, massive, massive win, really, boost. hasn't it? Yeah. Huge, huge cash boost. Huge. How far off a full trailer are you, Alan? Exactly half full. Exactly half full. Uh, is there enough in here to fill it? Yeah, there should be. What does it hold? 24? Yeah. That's 24. The, the Anderson one does, yeah. yeah. So. It's literally the only reason to do round bales. Great. Really? Well, apart from if you get a wrapper, a, a baler wrapper. Yeah, well, that's what that's what I mean. Then round bales. Yeah, that that's a good thing, and also you can get a bigger mm. amount of bales on your yeah. bale loader, can't you? 
Yeah, that's really. It's my. It's my. If I'm doing round bales, I'm, I've got the Anderson bale trailer because otherwise it's just not worth it. You'd rather do square bales and wrap them. I just find the wrapper for the square bales is a bit of a faff. Yeah, but you know it's um, it's so much faster to produce square bales. Yeah, because you're not stopping all the time, are you? Yeah, so. You know the amount of the amount of time you save doing doing hay or straw definitely Whoops. makes up for having to okay. wrap silage bales. Right, well, there's a thing to note that uh, the Anderson bale loader guys does not go in the uh, <laughs> in the what? You know this shed that's uh, closed apart from the front, but yeah, it's got oh, bales. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the Anderson bale loader does not go in there. Does it not? Why not? If you try and put it in there, it goes all the way until the front lift arm and smash, smashes into the top. Ah, OK. Um, so, just as a heads up. Right. No, I, just, I, I put my tractors in there. That's it for now. My tractor... So is that now full? It is, yes. Right, well, we'll just park that one up then. Right. Good job, sure, yeah. huh? I suppose I'll get a, a wind rower in the next episode and in two weeks' time. <laughs> uh, yes, that'll be about rowing it. How's my uh, BGA coming on? Has it made anything today? Harvest income, contract income, miscellaneous, biogas. No, it's not put anything in yet. If I, do you have to switch the biogas yeah. on? Yes. Oh, shite you do, don't you? Look at that, what an idiot. Oh, you've missed the whole day. <laughs> yeah. Oh. What are we, what well, we, what we going to do way. about all this digestate we've got in there? I sell it. Well, you just set it to selling. Yeah, I just set it to selling. It's not worth enough to buy a, buy a big tanker and then start messing about with it. Hmm. Well, I think we had this discussion. Now I'm thinking about it. Because the tankers are a massive amount of money, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, the only thing right. would be well, is if it came up as a fertilizer option in a contract, maybe. You need so much digestate there to do it. Right, oh, well, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Right, oh well. I think I'm about done You're for this done. evening, everyone. So, hopefully, everybody's enjoyed yeah. the live stream. Thank um, you all for joining. Yeah, thank you, everybody, for joining. Thank you to Alan again for joining us. Yeah. Um, massively appreciate it. And also to Pub Sweet. So, dream team again. Mm -hmm. so hopefully everybody's enjoyed it if they have remembered to like the video even though it's a bit late now but you may as well yeah. and if you're new to either of the channels subscribe because we do put out some pretty good content and uh, we hope you join us again soon we do many thanks for watching see you later